What's up, everybody? This is Refried Beans. And collard greens. And we got Kiwi in the building again. Kiwi! Hey. How, How you doing? doing? I'm doing pretty good. That's what it do. Yeah. Well, let's get right back. Let's, let's, let's go <laughs> ahead and get into tomorrow, it. I'm off tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, you're off tomorrow? Hell yeah. See, so that's holiday. what I miss, working at that type of job. Lucky. Hell yeah, get holiday mm-hmm. pay job. Mm-hmm. Customer service. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not everybody customer service, but specific types of customer service be right. closed. I commend y'all because I cannot. Uh, I don't have the patience for that shit. True. I barely have the fucking patience for it. But true. <laughs> That's very true. But you learn. I mean, because honestly, everything I'm learning at work is how I interact with people on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. And like shit I talk about on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Every time we talk about like how to interact with the customers, I be like, bro, this is literally how I communicate with people. And people be, they don't get it. <laughs> and it's crazy because you do have to do that at work and and then it's like it's crazy that um you expect that through communication with your peers yeah you know what I'm mm-hmm. i know y'all probably don't know like, specifically what i'm talking about but just i mean i guess overall customer service mm-hmm. like the part you're saying you don't want to do like which is conflict res- resolution Girl, and de-escalation and just making sure when you're talking to people now granted i do be ruffling feathers <laughs> <laughs> but at work like i know it's i mean this is what i gotta do these people i mean i i do that sometimes with people like i could do better i could definitely do better especially on facebook like i don't have to entertain everything but yeah that is what makes me me yeah. <laughs> but at work you really gotta suck that shit up like oh my god on the professional side you have to be professional because this is my job to. this is my money yeah i, I don't have the yep. patience for that man i, I got a short fuse so you when do. you start talking I... shit to me i'm gonna talk shit back and you know i get that i definitely do but it's like i just be like they're not talking to me and you can just get off the phone or eventually you gonna hang up and i don't care <laughs> it's, it's like you know. let it roll off your back you do like you have to you're like i ain't even gonna see this real this person i'm real never life gonna talk to you again probably ever again there's thousands of us bro. also so what i mean by um like you said like i'm never gonna see this person again so let's say for instance you're stuck in traffic somebody cuts you off a lot of times people take that person or i mean i ain't gonna sit here and act like oh uh, uh, yeah that's me <laughs> yeah so <laughs> to me would... though you don't know what this person is going through that's what i always think about that's what i had to teach myself it was not something that came natural because hell yeah i still got a little short fuse sometimes people be calling me firecracker like you know what i'm saying but I had to teach myself, like, because for me, it was for me. It ain't got shit to do with them. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if I take everything that people do a certain type of way, because I am an emotional person, I'm a Pisces, like, mm-hmm. and I got all this other shit going on with me, but that's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm an emotional person in general, and if I let everything make me emotional, I'm always going to suffer, mm-hmm. you yeah. know? Yeah. And that person going to move on with their damn life. Thank you. So, I, you know, I, I try to always think like, oh, it could be an old person in front of me or maybe they're having a bad day. Mm-hmm. They probably not like this on a regular basis. That's why I'm always open. Mm-hmm. Like I might judge somebody immediately. For instance, um, <laughs> I don't even want to get on that topic because I really want to talk about this lady that called. That we was talking about something before we got on here and I want to finish that conversation. But overall you just gotta remember like these people mad about their whatever the fuck they got going on mm-hmm. they ain't mad at you and even if they are they don't you don't know me <laughs> yeah i don't know it's once you take that tone with me like i, I mean yeah I'm, my heart I'm big be racing like, and shit yeah I'd be like, if you raise I'm your voice like at me i'm gonna raise it right back like we're gonna talk on the same level but yeah, when ah that road rage shit, I'll be ready to fight him. Motherfucker. No, that's <laughs> crazy. No, he gets so pissed. I'll roll the window down that? and talk shit. Oh, don't like, almost, don't almost hit him. <laughs> oh, cause he gonna speed up beside you and roll his. Oh, window I did down. do that to like, a lady the other day, I and I was like, I'm crazy, cause I was so calm and I was riding up as close as I could to her bumper, cause I was like, this bitch got me fucked up. <laughs> I was so mad, but I was like, I can't hit this lady car, but I'm gonna ride, and she kept trying to hurry up and like. Like, <laughs> I know she know what I was doing. Like, bitch, you got me fucked up. Because I was trying to, you know, I was trying to get in 
on a turn mm-hmm. and she was in front of me coming the opposite way mm. i had space but she purposely like sped up and almost hit my shit i hate when people do that shit. i was like you fucking bitch i what think is <laughs> you, what are you benefiting from being yeah, an exactly. asshole? yes yeah, yeah. just let me the fuck over and she was a another race i'm gonna just <laughs> Lord <laughs> Jesus. so i was like this fucking bitch mm-hmm. i felt like you know i just felt the way i'm gonna just put it that way yeah (laughs) so anyway yeah i was riding her fucking bumper as long as i could i ain't even gonna look at you but i'm gonna do some shit that just intimidate your ass he look at he'll roll down the window and be like i will do it what the fuck is wrong with you what the fuck is what what, what? i'll be like just wave your wave this i would probably laugh if i saw somebody doing that to me they'd be mad as fuck no every time you do that they don't look they be <laughs> straight ahead, they they straight ahead. Like, like the most baby. recent one we they were going down try on and this guy he just he cuts me off and i almost hit his ass so i swear out of the way i roll my window down start talking shit i slowed down so i can keep so he can catch up to me and i'm just cussing him flat the fuck I out i wanted like, him to pull over so bad like oh ooh. no you know no try on is messy because then people just be they don't give Yo, a fuck. Yo, they get in accident. Do. I have seen so many accidents people, riding down that street by um crazy. KFC. Yes. And like, the the that's liquor where, store. That's, that's where my incident happened. Exactly. Motherfuckers Yo, literally, care. somebody was coming from like the little cash checking mm-hmm, place shit, mm-hmm. crossing the street, and another person was like in the um turning lane. Mm-hmm. So the person coming across the street, I'm like, yo, do they not even, like, they coming fast. I'm like, do you not even see this car? And the other person North started drive. driving. I'm like, so neither sort. one of y'all paying attention. <laughs> they don't it hit each out. other. So and crazy. I ran over the fucking bumper. Because oh the bumper God. flew off the car. I was literally right there. It happened right. I thought I was going to hit them. Oh Damn. And I swerved out the way. And the bumper and went so under my to, car. Like, swerve out the way. Because everybody going cra- fast. I can't believe. North I was like, out. the only thing I can think is they both... It honestly made me think the person intentionally hit their car. Mm. I was just like, and how did y'all miss? There was no reason that they hit. I don't get it. It was so confusing. I was in the car with my baby daddy. He was like, what the fuck was that? Like, So I ran over the bumper. And of course, I'm trying to like um, not get hit by any other cars by like yes. slamming on the brake. So I'm still kind of driving. But on my break so i pull over and that shit went under my car mm. i think that's what got that's what did my car right there Damn. i think that's why troy is gone now rest <laughs> in peace troy people are fucking crazy and careless that shit what the fuck yeah i was like either they were both texting i didn't understand that shit was so confusing like i i don't get how they got in a car accident and then a few days later i went to pick this nigga up again on the same street and um, another accident had happened right there mm. in the same fucking spot. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, they drive crazy as fuck on trying. Yeah, all over Charlotte. Like I don't know what the fuck be going on out here. So but your car's name was Troy. Troy the gay boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why that? I don't know. <laughs> That's how I felt when I named him. <laughs> I named my cars too. So my new car's name is Carla. I, I picked a bunch of ghetto names for mine. What was, <laughs> what was my Buick's name? Regina. Yeah, that was Regina. Wow, <laughs> and Regina. then my truck, because I used to have a truck, um, and I, that that car's name was Shalissa. From that from that vine that was like, he's like, <laughs> you look like. Beyonce. Has anybody ever told you you look like Beyonce? And the girl's like, Nah, they tell me I look like Shalissa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an old ass vine. <laughs> I haven't named this one yet though. You. You haven't. I don't care about this car. <laughs> Damn. Uh, he doesn't. He's not passionate about it. I I'm feel not. it. I mean, I'm not per se passionate about my car. Dang, we didn't got all the way on cars. I wanted to talk about that lady. Customer that service. Yes, Back we were talking about customer service. Customer service. Crazy. You see how easy it is to go left. Yeah. Or Everything right segues with the into other experiences. <laughs> <Yeah>. Facts. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, she's on the phone like. Oh, I can't say too much because I don't want to give out where I work. But anyways, um, you know, she's just basically calling and made it as though she had an issue. And I was just like, you know, I'm trying to help her. I'm like, you know, what's the reason for your call, ma'am? Like, I would like to know, like, Mm -hmm. you know, what's going on? And she's like, oh, you know, just going on rants about different topics. Like, she initially called to see if something was paid off, like, a Mm -hmm, a mortgage mm -hmm, or something mm -hmm. like that was paid Mm -hmm. off 
And but she kept going on about how her son was buying her townhouse and he was putting it up for rent. And, you know, now she has to sell all this stuff because and she was like 82. She sounded so good to be 82, to be honest. She wow. didn't sound like really old. Yeah. Like She was just ranting and she was like, yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out. I'm like, okay, is there a reason that you called? Do you want to know, like, is your account <laughs> open? Like, you know, I don't know what she's calling for. And <laughs> we're on the phone for like 15 minutes and she's just talking and I'm like, you know, I don't know. I got to get you off the phone. <laughs> like, yeah. some type of way. Yeah, how do you politely tell somebody you got to go? Like. <laughs> exactly. Like, how do you do that? Some people, I ain't going to lie. A couple of people, I felt myself getting a little snappy at them. Mm-hmm. And I had to pull myself back because. Um, Jane gets snappy with her uh, new job now. You did? I've always been like that with customer service base. <clears throat> Girl, I had to catch myself because I wanted to be like, well, ma'am. You know, <laughs> yeah, because when your calls are graded, you know they're gonna be like, well, "Fast." You could have handled it this way. And I'm like, "Well, did you hear her fucking tone, bro? <laughs> like, you're not about to get loud and turn up on me." Is what yeah, you're not about they should. Yeah, she was like acting all privileged or some shit, and I was oh, just like, "Well, ma'am, man. um, this is what I can do, right? This is what I can do for you, right? Allegedly, <laughs> Allegedly. you know." But that was the <laughs> that was the energy coming off of her. <laughs> And I was just like, ma'am, this is what I can do for you today. That's a good comeback. And she I might not like, be able to fix all your motherfucking problems. But this I is what I can, can. do. Yeah. Like, I ain't got no other options. This is really what I wanted mm-hmm. to say. Like, this ain't my problem. Like, yeah, this is you what I have can to call do for somebody you else. today. Cause I'm Would not you about like to, for me to do that for Right. You? I'm not about to stay on the phone with your attitude while you trying to tell me other stuff I can do. And I got to sit here and figure out how to. No, fuck. You asked for this one thing and you complain about it. Do you want it or not? <laughs> like yeah, it's basically what, I, what it came. Yeah, you can, can go ahead and do that. I know I can. All right, have a nice day. <laughs> That's how you get them off. <laughs> so this is what I can do My skin right would now. Be itching. Yeah, I don't know how y'all. My heart was racing a little bit. I was it like, this bitch pissing really, me off. <laughs> really fired up when you're like. What the fuck is wrong with this person? Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, me doing snappy. construction, we can cuss each other out. We cuss our boss mans out. And, like, you know, we don't get fired for that kind of shit. Oh, I, I would. And I was going to say with that, I think I would do good with, like, I'm not going to say a crisis line. Maybe not that serious. But, like, if people were calling in to, like, vent... I'd be great at that on the phone because that's what these customers yeah. be doing. I'd a be crisis listening. crisis line would be a little too much for me because I'd be like, I don't want to carry your burden i was about to say that yeah. that would be a lot but if you just like yeah this bitch didn't really what <laughs> well, girl let me tell you this this is what you this is how you need to handle that shit it was wrong when you did that and like, yeah oh, bitch shit. i wasn't wrong okay girl whatever you feel like you got to say to let it <laughs> out you gotta imagine that on the day to day though that shit would be kind of depressing because if you had to hear somebody's sob story every, every fucking day oh, for gonna, like I'll so many right now kiwi you're gonna hear a lot of sob stories and there's gonna be some that really bother your heart and there's barely especially if you can only do so much that's to so help, true and you're gonna be uh, when it was like hurricane season <sighs> when customers at any place call in and they need assistance or help and they're like Please help me, especially if it's like. Oh, that's so you know, hard. It's oh. gonna be like, uh, I, my heart breaks for you, and I'm gonna do the best that I can. And it it really does bother you when you go home. You're like, damn. I hope that. Yo, this lady the other day said she wanted to kill herself, mm-hmm. and I had to be like, <laughs> it caught me so off guard that I knew I had to say something, but I couldn't find the words at the moment. I had mm-hmm. to really think about it, like. <laughs> What can I say that's going to sound empathetic? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you can't just say anything to that. Yeah. You yeah, know, like, all, yeah. yeah, she basically was like, she lost everything. Like, that's a rough conversation to have. Like, you know, like, even when people Ooh. die and stuff, like, you don't, <coughs> I'm bad at that. I'm bad at, like, like being like, like, I'm damn, sorry. That's that so that true. Because they I will say that. Mm-hmm. Somebody said that on the phone, mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm, my, I'm my trying to grandma get up the just money died. for this funeral and. I yeah. don't know what I'm going to do And my health is fa- it, it, I'd be like <coughs> Bruh This is the saddest shit I've ever heard 
and you just looking like and there's never the right words to say like, because there's never. only so much that you can do professionally for this yeah. hell yeah and i'm such a like oh my god yeah. that's why i that's why i had to think about it because mm-hmm. i was i can't i can't say i can relate mm-hmm. like i had to be professional mm-hmm. i really had to find the right i just simply was like you know i know things are hard right now mm-hmm. but your life is important that's mm-hmm. all i said like mm-hmm. You know, you don't have to go that route. Like your life is important. You're still here for a reason. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that's all I could say. So hard. Yeah. Dealing with like customer facing anything. And I, and I was a coach listening to the call. Okay. It's Damn. hard. Yeah. And she was like, "You handled that really well." I was like, "Thank you," because I didn't know what to say. So hard <laughs> in a professional setting. Because, Woo! Yeah. That was yeah. And and she was from Africa. So she was like, they took my land. And oh my God. I was like, oh my God. Like, mm, that shit was tough to hear. That is pretty Especially tough. when she was black. Oh, it was yeah, killing me. Wanna... I just mm-hmm. wanted to just, it was, that was a tough one. That yeah. one was tough. <laughs> I did good though. I'm proud of myself. That's good. That's good. Because yeah. I am very, I'm an empath. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, yeah, you yeah, stopped yeah. somebody from taking their own life. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know if she was going to do it in that moment, I but she had she, mentioned. She had someone to talk to. Yeah. I do too. Because she was like telling the cops, like sh- the cops was involved. There was a lot going on. Oh, wow. shit. Yeah, it was a lot. And um, she was like, I told the cops, like, I was going to take my life. And, but, and I was just like, oh. I was just not Ugh. expecting her to say that. And like I said, my coach just happened to be listening to the mm. call, too. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> mm. Mental health is real. Facts. Damn, Always. they do not need to be calling in with that type of shit. Though. I don't want to go home thinking yeah, about speaking that. Speaking of <laughs> mental health is real. Oh, my shit. past experiences, yeah, even recent experiences. I mean, just going back to dealing with people's money type of thing like being in that type of a realm of customer service or sales yeah and when people like call in and you're like doing your normal shit you know you think it's gonna be a normal day you're in a good mood you answer and calls and then motherfuckers come on the line they throw you for a loop and you be like wait a second now. you never know who's gonna be on the other literally line. i had a the guy like he would always call it was like a, a it was like a regular thing we knew his name like that's weird. It's like when you see his account pop up, you're like, oh, bruh, who got the call, man? <laughs> and it's like <laughs> if he pops up on your shit, and you're like, fuck. Right. And then, you know, you answer and it's him and he's just. I remember he told me flat out, like, what's your name? And I was like, um, Janice, you know, you say your intro and I'm like, I don't told you my name. Right. Okay, you obviously are on some other shit because you sound frantic. And, <laughs> and he was like, I'm schizophrenic. And I hear voices all oh the time. And he was like, Janice, I need your help. And I'm like, what is going on? So I'm like, oh, fuck, it's one of these days. And he just, he, I guess he needed somebody to talk to. I don't really know what the fuck he wanted me to do for him. Right. But he was just talking. And it was the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. Because I've never met anybody that was schizophrenic personally. It was like so talking to himself. Talking to himself saying shit that didn't make sense that had nothing to do why he was calling he's talking to whoever uh, Janice I see things I hear voices I love you Janice I love you and I'm like what I'm like literally oh, that's so scary. God I was like what? I know <laughs> what? like oh my god I can't imagine I remember when my therapist told me I had borderline though I felt like she told me I had schizophrenia yeah and what I mean by that is like that's like hearing like everything that you thought was real isn't really real yeah like that's scary yeah <laughs> yeah that is. and he was he was just, it was i can't remember because it was two years ago you know when i that happened but it was just like it was the one of the most bizarre things i've ever experienced in my life dealing with a customer i was like how do you reel this customer back in to be like what what can i do for you today because right. i can't sit here for an hour <laughs> on the phone with you and uh, we're not getting anything accomplished you know like you're that's so you're just crazy. talking in circles or just talking all over the place so it was God, like and you can't hang up on them and look Mm-mm. you get off the phone i you know oh. i'm like what the fuck was that so i go you know you go tell your coworkers, you're like bro i was just, just i was on this call with this man and then you know i give them the name and everybody's like oh shit that's crazy and then a week later 
another co-worker in another fucking cubicle answers his call and they're like bro this motherfucker is crazy I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh my god the same man keep calling in and he's not he's, i don't know what he's needing because he's not he's just talking but i got him twice and i didn't understand why the f- i was like why does he keep getting to my queue and he's like janice <laughs> like, yeah, because no. you don't have an extension or nothing. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. like that lady wanted my it just number. Pops I mean, she wanted me it, to you get like an give extension, her. but oh, that's probably well. I mean, if it only happened twice, but or... it was like it wasn't volunteer. It's like he just popped through my queue, and I'm like, fuck, I think this is that crazy man. <laughs> and it just, you can't stop the call; just comes through, and you're like, hey. Oh, that's <laughs> but yeah, I was like, how the fuck would he have gotten? And one day he called Can't back to that. back, and it popped to um different agents in our call center and so everybody was like yo i just got the, the same guy he keeps calling back so he was like basically that being sucks, popped through though, and everybody was like what the fuck i wonder who lives with people like that and like, i was saying i was like does like, he have because always he's a grown-ass man but i'm like he needs somebody to be like a caretaker or somebody that's like God, there he for needs him to take his medicine or something i don't know like do they have a level i don't know of like I don't know. I it mean, I, my. Um, oh, did you ever see that movie where that guy was schizophrenic? Uh, split? split. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Split. I, I love, love that movie. That movie. It was oh, it's. That was He's one of our favorites. <laughs> favorite like actors. He's that was an really amazing good. movie. Yeah, he did yeah. really good on that movie. That was amazing. And basically, like when he wasn't taking his medicine, that's when that shit would mm-hmm. happen. Mm-hmm. But didn't he learn how to live with it at the end? Like he gained relationships with them or some shit. I don't know. Like he made it a yeah. Good I think talking about the second one or the first one. Shit, I don't know. I saw it in school. Wait. Or was it A Beautiful be a di- Mind? Thi- okay, I was about to say, you're talking about a different movie. We're talking about Split. Split yeah, was like was 2017, 18. Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't seen no, that. We're talking about an old one. Now. Yeah, God. I think it was A Beautiful Mind. Because they showed it to us at school one time. We, we probably was watching that shit because we ain't had no teacher or something. <laughs> 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 I don't remember. But that yeah. shit was amazing. I was like, wow, this is a great movie. Mm. I think it was that same guy that played like Rocky or some shit. Uh, S- Sylvester Stallone. No. Stallone. Not him. A beautiful. That's Aston Kutcher. I'm going right? to Google it. I don't fucking know. I'm going to Google it. I think that Say is Aston Kutcher. schizophrenic movie. I mean, movies. Movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> movies. Movies about schizophrenic. <laughs> Okay, my yeah. s- my sister's ex husband is uh, <coughs> schizophrenic. That's so scary. I can't imagine. But he took his meds, so I never really saw him tripping. Yeah, I don't think I need to be on meds. A beautiful mind was. That's in Kutcher, right? No. Oh. Oh, um, let me see. Let me see what the guy is... looks like. Um, okay, I Russell think... Crowe. Is that who you mean? Okay, hold on. Full cast and there's Google results for a beautiful mind. Yep, that's it. Yep, that's it. 2001 though I was in high school Damn, oh we, I graduated in 2009 so that I was sense. like girl we was in mid- wait what the fuck this is definitely <laughs> it it has That's to be it. this movie we're gonna have to put that on our watch list that shit was yeah. so good like, cause we love a good a good he weird was just suspenseful like, movie thriller he was like really tripping I don't remember the full movie but I remember thinking like the way it came together was amazing. Mm-hmm. It was just so good. Like, he was really struggling with that shit. Damn. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. I don't know. So you think yeah, you can develop you... that shit with, like, depression? I think so. Um, I don't know, but I think you could develop it maybe through drugs for sure. But mm-hmm. I've heard that. I'm almost positive it would happen through drugs. But I don't know if, like, through depression or, I mean... I don't know because I kind of got fucking kill you. Like it can. This shit fucks with your actual physical Mm -hmm. health. Mm -hmm. It does. That sucks. It does. It It really really does. does. It is. Yeah, because like I don't know. Like I said, when I found out I had borderline, I knew something was. I'm not gonna say wrong, but I knew something was going on with me because just like. I just didn't think it was normal how I got mad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least I mean, you know, you got a therapist, so you know, at I least do. you had some I professional help. I wish I had one, honestly. Yeah. Because I mean, hell, you know, I, you know, I, we all go I through. I think we shit. all need one. Yeah. That should be like I'm not gonna I say, say free because the, they still need to. I say that all the time. 
I said it needs to be something that's covered with insurance at least. We're paying it is. for all. It, it is. is. Yeah. Just, Let me tell you, I have Medicaid and I was going. They got people that you can pay through a sliding scale. When I first ever went, I was just gosh. paying fifty dollars every time I like went. Like a copay. Mm-hmm. What? Shit, you just I, I would love to. Do yeah, it. I would love to. I think you everybody can. should. Just so I always try to tell people about that. Like, don't think it's not an option. It definitely is. See, that's the stigma. Is when you go it looking is. into it, you don't find. You, it's like the ones that you do find. They they don't accept insurance. They don't accept. That's not and true. And it's like what? What? Yeah, they accept sh- insurance. Hell yeah. What the fuck? Fuck yeah! <laughs> insurance is like the first thing they accept. That's crazy. See, that's a news to me so i gotta do i didn't yeah, know I y'all know better research <laughs> I, yeah what did y'all think you needed money money <laughs> money Damn, that's crazy hell no y'all yeah i did not know I, I didn't think insurance covered that kind of shit hell yeah fuck yeah wow. you know, i'm looking like okay so, see i don't know i mean it's health so mm. yeah it is. but I, but I, they, I they I probably only, only cover like a certain amount of um, See, I didn't know if it was like you have to go to the behavioral health mm-hmm. center. Now you and then, know. Like, then they evaluate you and try I to mean, you in. I mean, I get it. Okay, so I can see why that is a stigma. Yeah. Um, what yeah. were you going to say? Um, if you do do that kind of shit, like, like you know, the psych ward or some shit like that, like if you say that you're depressed and shit, you lose your rights to have a gun on mm-hmm. top of that. So I thought it was if you said you were suicidal. Cause mm, that's interesting. I don't. I, I, I have to double suicidal. check on it, but yeah, you can't. It have might any be mental. suicidal because, um, you know, if you say you're suicidal and you go get a gun, they're gonna assume you're gonna try to kill yourself. Mm-hmm. But I don't think mental health would be. I think a lot of people wouldn't have guns if that's the case. But a lot of people. I mean, they don't necessarily. They they when you got your concealed weapon. Do they Didn't ask they, those type of questions? Yeah, they ask but if, what the, if I've been to the psych ward, if if I've ever been depressed, um, if I ever had anger management, if if I had um, a domestic violence uh, thing on my record. I mean, was that but with I the see, permit, but those though, are like or was extremes. that just? I think that's for both of them. Okay. Yeah, that's for both of them. But but they with, can ask you, and you can say no. Yeah, when don't the difference with the concealed one is it's a longer process, and um, they do background. They checks. the background check. They the FBI checks that shit out, and then um, I think DEA runs your shit too, and then they they go into your public like your your medical records and shit. Mm-hmm. Like they look at all that stuff. How long was that can, process? Because ninety remember. days. It was ninety days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn. So it's extensive. Yeah. Concealed. What's the difference? Uh, concealed. Basically, like I don't have to show you that I have a gun. Um, I can pretty much take it anywhere. Um, and you learn a lot more about the law. Like right now, like you can get your like open carry. Like the, I can but, get a you know gun yeah. Like, like your gun has to be visible though. You can't be tucked or none of that stuff. Shit, I don't know if they give me a gun with my problems. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's legally not on like paperwork, then that yeah. shit is on paperwork uh yeah yeah you i mean i'm pretty sure to. it is because she has it like a printout like i can take that shit and get days off of work i'm sure they could mm-hmm. probably look that up that you have oh they'll find it yeah, yeah. they'll definitely hell find yeah it. they will legally, find it. Yeah. Like they i mean yeah because i got i was getting medicaid first of all she has to report certain shit mm-hmm. yeah you know stuff like that but overall um yes they accept insurance and they have different ones that take like sliding pay like you can yeah, let them know like scale. i can only mm-hmm. afford this much like yeah i was paying 50 dollars, and i was working at converges at the time well, that's good. so well that's good to know thank you yeah for letting us know. i mean yeah, honestly yeah. i think everybody should just go to therapy everybody should yeah. or like i wish it was more like group therapy where people can just go and talk mm-hmm. you know especially um, from a professional like a, standpoint yeah. like I can exactly. talk to Exactly. Like, therapists to, but, should know. be there. And then also people who just want to talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like, it should be a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just to get a different perspective. Because mm-hmm. you, you might be tripping and you just need to hear it from somebody else, you know? <laughs> right. I mean, I feel like the biggest. 
I don't really want to talk about. I don't want to talk about this topic. Yeah, we ain't got to. We can change it up. I mean, not this topic in Specific, particular. Yeah. But I was gonna bring up that lady that was whooping her child at the school. But I don't really want. Yeah, to, that shit got a I lot. I didn't of, see the video. She, you know, she I got saw arrested. A freeze frame of the. I know. Clip, and I was they like, took her kids. <clears throat> I I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to disagree about this because I'm gonna get very emotional. Because everybody has their thoughts on right. discipline. And all that. <laughs> But, you know, it is, you know, it's a different topic, a different subject. For a different it, it's sensitive because, you know, don't it's sensitive. nobody, nobody wants to hear like, don't tell me how to raise my child. Kind of like, the, you know, how that shit comes up. So it's like, yeah. I, I, I know I know where you're going with it, too. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, Anyways. I just, you know, it's all touchy, especially it, 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 when it comes to. I think we talked about this kids. before. We're done. We did. We did. Yeah. When it comes from like people who do have kids, how they feel about it, whether it's like opposing opinions. Yeah. And then it's like. People that don't even have kids, how they feel about it. You know, everybody's going to be like, don't tell me. But my only thing about that whole thing, this is what I don't get about people. And this is what happens on my post. Because this... I kind of pe- I kind of saw your post, but I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to read this it. Happens, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> this happens on my post all the time, but I saw it more out in the open because everybody was sharing their thoughts. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it wasn't like just in my comments. It's like everywhere. Yeah, because I saw a lot of people sharing. It. I got 50-50 from people who were with it. And then like. A yeah, lot of it was a lot of. Like, yeah. I honestly but, only saw one post about it. What? And it was like, it really? wasn't the that video. Was it was like, timeline. it was literally like a freeze frame of it yeah. yeah and she was like in his face with the belt out and i was like when i read the comments of that post people were like there's a whole video about this blah 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 and i was like i don't even know if i want to watch, watch the video like if i see it i just didn't see it anymore after that that was a few days because they took that shit down yeah i was like i don't even want to see it because uh, my i hate seeing any of those types of videos right so this is my thing about it how even if you agree that if you're okay with whooping your child or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. are you really telling me you agree with what this lady did in this video? She went a little extreme. So did she me. whoop his ass at school? It looked Girl. like she did it it's at the, the way, school. It's the way she handled and it. The way she, honestly, it was, she didn't... I mean, she whooped him, but it wasn't like no extended ass whooping. Like It ain't about her whooping him. It's, it's the way she was talking to him, too. Like, talking to him, how she was... All right, she, come, she walked... First of all, you got somebody recording you doing this. Which is bizarre that parents keep doing Wait, this. Wait, so think <laughs> about it like, the, right. But this boy is in the first grade and you walked in there with the intention of whatever you were already going to do because you had it recorded. That's so you walked in there storming. You're angry already. This boy is like seven. You walk into there. You can tell she's raging. This is what I see. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. This is what I'm saying. Like, you're angry. You can sense it. Like, you can see that she's angry. Mm-hmm. You watched the video? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. That. And I feel like a lot of people that... I feel like a lot of people that comment commented on the video did not watch it. I just feel like there's no way that you watched it for real. Because I don't see how you could even... Anyways... She gets in the school. I don't know what she said to the faculty, fa- faculty, faculty or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but she goes, grabs her son by the collar, basically drags him out the school in front of all these other little kids. Like you're at a. At a they were like at lunchtime. Yeah, it was like a bunch of elementary, like little kids in there. You're dragging them out. I don't know if she's saying whatever as she's dragging them out. Is she like fussing? Yeah, she's just, like, really pissed off. So, yeah, she, like, takes him out of the cafeteria. By his collar. And there's already, there was, like, what, two teachers in yeah. front of her? Because I get what she was saying, but at the same time, it, it was, like, the way she was talking to him was really extreme. For him to be a little ass Was boy, she talking to him, like... She was just, like... She was talking to him like he was a nigga on the street. Like, you yeah, yeah. She, she was talking to him like she was about to fight him. What she does at home. Thank you. Mm-hmm. She, I know she does She's ten so times super, worse at home. Super comfortable. I, Thank I grew up. Jane, um, you said it. You saying, said it. You that's said I was like, it if right she there. was talking to him like he was in front not of even the her teachers. own son, it was like, like he there's was a difference not, between oh, she like, was disciplining like he was a grown ass man. Like. Yeah, she was talking to him mm-hmm. like he was a grown ass man, which is bizarre. And I'm like, now hearing that, it makes me be like, 
You must and hate then, and despise his daddy. Thank you. You see something girl. in that little boy that it makes your t- it make you want to punch him. That's in That's what I was that, looking that, at. It's not. She yeah. She hit him with the belt like two times. Okay. She grabbed him. You could tell she just hit him with the. Uh, to me, this is what I saw. I can't say for anybody else. God, I, but when she I hit him, I want to see the with, video, but I don't because it's gonna make. I me think mad. it's off the internet now. Like a, like you know like she said she only whooped him like two or three hit times. hit him two times but it you could excessive. tell it was just to do it it wasn't like I don't know everything was just so it just she, was ridiculous yeah. it was like why are you doing this it's like she tried to set an example but it was Thank just completely you. like extreme like it was just it, it was too far yeah so then when I saw the part where she was yelling in his face like she was like like, like she you, wanted to rock his like ass she, yeah. I was waiting for her to hit him with a hook like just bow which is the craziest <laughs> like screaming no, that's at the, the top that, of her lungs that was in his the face freeze frame that I saw a picture of she's down at his level in his face mm-hmm. with a belt in and her when hand. she was doing was that confused, she was like, screaming in his face face at the top of her lungs and i was like is this your child still who would who is this to you right now this is a little ass boy that's why i was i was looking at the picture like i don't even want to see the video people was like it's a video i was like I hope this shit don't cross my feet and auto play. Recording that shit anyways, like, yeah. but that was but why would Some you people. do that? And that's what Jane said. The perfect. She was too comfortable because she do that shit at home. Mm-hmm. Probably Clearly, ten if times she does, worse. Yeah, if she does that, and that's the school whooping, and that's that's why that's the that's school. Why. That's the whooping. public. Whooping. That's the that's the video whooping. So what you think gonna happen to this little boy if she don't get arrested for this shit? Because he didn't have any bruises. They got a, they got a wrestling ring in the living room. <laughs> she throwing no, balls. Look. And I was. I hope from he personal, lives through that. Not That's experience what I'm because yeah, I just get my ass whooped. But my mama ain't never got down in my face. Like she never was. You know what I'm saying? Like what y'all are describing is like what? So what I will say is it, not my own personal experience from my mom, but I ain't gonna say no names. But she had a best friend that she grew up with. And so when she had kids, they both had kids around the same age. So like I might've been the oldest of all of the kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so the home girl used to babysit, you know, like my mom needed to work. She would babysit her. You know, she was kind of like an auntie figure. She was like my Mm -hmm. mom's one of my mom's greatest friends that she ever had. She grew up with her. And, um, we, I mean, me just, me and my brothers, I mean, they were really young. You know, one is like seven years younger. The next one's like eight and a half years younger than me. Mm-hmm. So she would babysit us. And the way she spoke to her own sons, she had two sons herself. And they were significantly apart, like maybe like five, six years or something like that. She, no, she has three sons. I take that back. Um, One of them... He did something. I really don't recall. It was so many years ago. But I might have been like middle school. But it ain't even anything that was even worth remembering compared to you remembering whatever she did or whatever happened. It traumatized me and my brothers because we were like, our mommy don't whoop our ass like that. Like, she whoop us, but she ain't like that, bitch. No, her homegirl used to do shit like cuss, cuss her kids out like they was niggas. And she, we literally have seen her punch her sons in the in the chest. I'll punch in your motherfucking chest, throwing shit at them, like throwing, just finding the, the closest thing to them and throwing them, beating like, them with a hanger, a wire and hanger. Be like, oh. And we were like, used to get beat up. Yeah, we <laughs> were like, uh, that's not okay. No, like the, I think what was scary is the way that she talked to them. It was like she, like she was ready to fight them and right. beat the dog shit out of them. And, and she the, would and be, like, be like, I'll punch you in your motherfucking chest. And what they would have done never resonated with me. It never resonated with me as something that warranted them to be punched right. in the chest. Yeah. We were like, all he did was he didn't throw his plate away. I'm just giving an example. But it was right. something so minuscule that was like, That's my mama went like, and whooped me over that. That's just like that <laughs> we, one girl that we know. It you was remember weird. how she was... Uh, she was cussing her baby out because she she wanted her baby. Girl? Man, she, she I don't might, even know how she was smaller she was. Than, she was like this tall. She was though. smaller than our she was baby a beautiful girl. little girl. She was like that three, makes me so four years sad. old, and we were all chilling outside. And they'd be like, "They'll be all right." Like that's a child. Like they're 
I I've never know. seen somebody be so verbally. Ab- she reminds me yeah, of my, my mom's Just home girl. She didn't want her daughter to get up to play. Like she was trying to run up and down some. You see how our stairs on our front porch? That's how our just home being boys a kid. Were. And running up and down like, the stairs, just running you up. You your motherfucking ass in this place. Don't I'll you punch fucking you, move. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yo, like, it's not that real, bro. Th- I was, I could not understand. And, and she reminds me of people girl. really be saying that shit is okay. And like, like, and the like little girl's girl, face when she would see other kids playing, but she's the only kid that get cussed yeah, out for she playing play the same with the other way. Because she, so she didn't want her sit to sit your get motherfucking sad. ass down, stupid. No, we would sit there like. Do we correct I somebody can when they not, do? You, I it, know. And that's when you go. What do you do? Because when if I would have said something like, yo, you need to chill, she might have been like, fight. bitch, fuck mm-hmm. you. And I would have been like, no, <laughs> fuck you, bitch. Do you want to fight, bitch? <laughs> now we fight, Let's fight, bitch. Then. Now we fight, bitch. And she a real rough ass bitch. Like, she was really, like, you. I was like, her mama must have did that to her. Yeah, they do. Because I was looking and like, you're too like, comfortable like, doing that That's why I was like, people that saying, Either you didn't watch the video or you talk to your kids like that. That's the only thing. Because the video is not about the whooping. It's about everything behind it. So, like, one girl kept saying, like, everybody disciplines different and this and that. I'm like, bruh, like, you think that's okay to talk to, like, do all of that? Now, look. To a child? I will say. <laughs> my mama didn't. She done not, you know, not that silly with a whooping, uh, you know. But I, mean, hell yeah, she, hell I fear man. her. To this day, my mama is like, I still be looking at her like, bitch, I know you'd rock my ass if I got if I got <laughs> too comfortable. I know you'd take me outside and walk me like a goddamn dog and That's whoop my crazy. ass. And my mama is my best friend. I was just with her last night, Kiki. Like, we are ace boom coons. But, but what's the difference for you? Like, what difference? made it, what makes you still respect your mom? Because she tell me why she whooped my ass and she not cussing me. Yeah, bitch, stupid bitch. She not talking to me like I'm like that. Right. Like back then it was like Yeah when I got my ass whooped but She would be like Did you go in there She would literally be like Did you go in there and do this When I told you not to do it And I'd be like She'd be like hey, You know you think about it She was like Don't lie yeah. Don't lie to me I've And if I lied twice. Ass whooping if I don't lie, ass whooping. But it was not like <laughs> some fucking grabbing a goddamn fan and banging me upside the head with it. Like, you know, yeah. it was like, yeah. it was, you know, it was a fan. Yeah. It was an ass whooping, a black ass ass whooping. You mm-hmm. fine. But at the same time, it's like when my brothers got older and they became teenagers and they started towering over her and they had all this testosterone, she looking like, don't play me like I'm not your mama. I would still whoop, whoop your ass. Right. That's what she'd be like. Now nah, I knock you upside your head, but she would never be like you a stupid. Mo-. I mean, she might. You know, black parents to be like you dumb ass. No winning that and get all that and <laughs> fuck my right. shit up. Now they say that, but it it was never like when we were little. My mama was ready to you know buck yeah. up. Like she wanted to kill me. Like <laughs> that lady looked like she went in that screenshot that I saw. She no, looked like she wanted to rock scary. his shit. And my mama never in better. She never. Black people stop whooping your baby. What Mike Epps said? No, Cat Williams said stop whooping your baby in public. I don't want to see you whoop your baby ass. Right. I say don't record this shit. Don't like, record it either. You incriminate. Your- yeah, you incriminate. You know nowadays, uh, not even nowadays. It's been for a while. You whoop your I dad, your baby think- child in public. Somebody gonna call I mean, the police. But think on about you. how many videos go viral of somebody getting an ass whooping. They, them people don't get arrested and their kids taken. It was everything it's, that she did and how she was screaming at him. And no, just, I have seen a couple of videos and people were like, they arrested now because they posted it. Like, yeah, they're in their media, own, li- they're they're in their own living room getting their ass whooped. You know, they're whipping their kids and people will take that shit and run with it. And they're like, I'm calling the police. I and mean, we know who will. calls the police. I mean, my black ass ain't going to sit up and try to find out who they are and call the police on them. Mm-hmm. No, nah, a lot of people were mad about that video, though. I don't think that was some normal I think that shit. That it was doesn't sound extreme. normal. Like, That's you, why I said it's the way you good. talk. Lot. When your demeanor seems like you are always this. She was like, so always angry. like it, se- it sounds like she she too comfortable doing it to her son. Speaking of parents. Intimidating. Um, in a way that... Ugh. I know you heard that that fucking that Ti podcast. Oh, right? God. <laughs> that shit is weird, bro. That is weird. As fuck. Thank you for saying up. that. That shit was. Weird I got all fuck. hot and worked up as a woman. <laughs> I think what the point people are missing is that it's not about. 
I got so many. Like, like that's still what? her body. I mean, I you should trust your daughter and you should there's different ways to go about things other than making sure she's still a virgin by oh, yeah. checking her hymen. Like that's just that's very extreme. extreme. As fuck. Like even like because I got a that's daughter. Extreme. I'm not I'm not about to do all that because they said that. What he, if you found out that she wasn't? He makes what her. Was he, gonna do? he makes her tell her doctor to tell him because you know. Now, I mean, now I that believe she's grown, it. Like um basically her doc like she has to give her doctor permission to even tell him that stuff and he makes her do that shit but that's fucking weird i mean because you can't why stop are you it. that pressed my biggest that's question weird. was tiny are you okay with that she like, don't got no say so in that marriage i'm, con- I'm completely <clears throat> confused about it. i'm looking like I don't as a like woman with a daughter that's older than the daughter we are even talking about yeah. i'm looking like and i bet you they don't got those same um rules for zonique is it I because Zonique is exact. grown, grown? Like she, I think it's because I'm she's confused. not biologically TIs, and that's why he don't. He, yeah, I think he that's why. But he, that's that's it's, fucking. It's nasty. still fucking stupid. I Hold all the children to the same that standard. That you care that much. That, that's weird. Because it's, it's gonna happen. I mean, know? not that you care that much. Not. I don't not mean to insinuating say that. that he's, yes, I just mean like. But that's that's a weird way it's to very that's controlling. controlling. That's controlling. That's and cool. a lot of men don't get that. Like that's her body. Like it's not she doesn't have any privacy to her body. That's what y'all not getting. Basically, that, yeah. That's weird. Your own dad. He's so only, now she's gonna feel weird with other men because her dad is crowding basically he over gonna her. Ask her. Like what? she feel like she gotta walk around like this. Like that's where she can't even embrace who she is. Y'all mm-hmm. don't get the fem- like the energy that comes from our vagina. It ain't got shit to do with y'all. It's an energy there. And when it's blocked by a fucking masculine, nasty, misogynistic, misogynistic energy, whether it's inside of you or outside of you, mm-hmm. it's blocking who you are as a woman. And that was some real ass shit that need to be goddamn taken if I was in somewhere. <laughs> no, it was yeah. really fucking. He me, is it was, blocking her womanhood. It was more odd to me that he was comfortable to discuss it in a podcast. Yes, I was like. Then you talked about it to the world. I was like, so you, you might as well expose her. volunteer that information about your your daughter who you want to protect is what I'm getting from it. Facts. You want to pro- so, but you're not protecting her her dignity. You don't like, have any boundaries. I was looking like yeah, she was really a little. Disrespectful it was part. weird because like, you know what I'm saying. Like, what if Tiny talked about his son not being circumcised or some shit? You know what I'm right. saying? Like, <laughs> like, his like, son is looking like, like why you going around talking about that, my penis? <laughs> it's like you. why you talking about my, my penis all over yeah. there? Now the hoes ain't even gonna want to fuck yeah. with me. Thank like, you. Or, uh, now I mean, she can't even have a boyfriend or nothing. I mean, I'm looking like does she have to? Does she have to report to you? Oh, I kissed the boy today. What are you gonna react if she? You know he ain't doing nothing but cooking up. Of a rebellious child or a, a rebellious you. girl she's like, gonna be she's, she's gonna, gonna, she's gonna be wow she's gonna resent him so i saw bad. a video of On her steve, Har- and uh, steve harvey's daughter type shit did you see <laughs> Lori, <laughs> right Lori harvey she'd be out here jam mm-hmm. but did y'all see that it's a video of her regine and zonique and they had like somewhere just dancing and she didn't even want to dance she didn't want to be on camera like i'm like and it is weird to me to be like you can't tia t- you think it's okay it. for zani just because she not your biological daughter she basically your damn child because you've been there since forever no i'm telling you she i mean i hope she doesn't fuck her image up but she yeah she's gonna rebel She's going she's badly. gonna be she's rebellious. Gonna and when we were um she posted something that said, I love y'all with like the teary eyes, like cause and she done been liking a few of the posts about what people been saying about her dad. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did see that that, that yeah, I heard she about was that, liking yeah. posts. Like on tweet she liked certain tweets. And she's not and gonna shit. say nothing, but she's gonna like the post. Yeah, just, that's embarrassing as fuck. I said eighteen is such a. She should have never said that. If he, if it re- really was about protecting her, he would have never. He would It's about him. It's yeah. about him. Tia, do you need clout right you t- now? Yeah, you, you. My daughter's time is still intact. Like you, like that's a badge of honor. My daughter's still a virgin. That's basically what you might as well had said. It probably is to him, and it's like, okay, sir, it's 2019. I don't think that that's not a popular that's so opinion to be up. out here. 
Thank you. And now all these niggas really going to come at all the niggas you trying to protect her from. And they somebody going to spit all the right on, game and she going to run away. Spit with, the right game. And she going to run away. Because you ain't put her on game. You worried about her staying a virgin instead of telling her what niggas to stay away from. Like, come on, bro. Y'all got to be smart. He thinks that that's. He, I don't know what the fuck that is. He's fucking dumb. That's fucking weird. He's bro. controlling. He was controlling of Tiny. And, I and the fact want. that a it, lot of women have explained. Sorry, baby, to cut you off. Yeah. A lot of women have like. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of women have been like, uh, my hymen ripped because of different reasons. Yeah, because I heard you know? it isn't, sex isn't the only thing that rips right. your hymen. Period. And I was like, right. well, that's fucking. He's ignorant. The doctor. Does the do- doctor who are you? I don't know. The doctor told him that I think that's what I got out of what I seen. Yeah, like the doctor. The, told I him just that. am over the fact that he volunteered that type of information. We didn't have to know any. That's of that. where yeah. he fucked up right there. We didn't have to know, and any that's of how that. you know it's about him. But like you said, yeah, for him, Period. it's probably like bragging rights. It's like, oh, my daughter's still a virgin. It is bragging rights. That's but disgusting. Like, You're yeah. fucking disgusting. That's gross. You're fucking gross. I don't give a fuck how viral this goes. Like I know you're nasty, Ti. <laughs> <laughs> like as a father with a daughter, of course I don't want my baby girl fucking doing all this <laughs> and that. But like it's right. it's gonna happen, so it's like it's, oh, it's I would guys. rather like, I would want up. her to feel comfortable to be like, Dad, I love my new boyfriend. Thank and, you. And Here like I want her to be comfortable enough to come up to me, or even that she got enough confidence to say, I want to ma- wait and make sure because. It's you know, I don't know. Maybe you if he would have just something like, in her, have a purity mm-hmm. ring or something like the whole. Yeah, something he like that. He could have just yeah, taught yeah. her to save it's herself. Like the niggas go about protecting their daughters, quote unquote, in the weirdest ways, yeah. and then y'all teach y'all sons to be the niggas that y'all try to protect your daughters from. Yeah, because I think he crazy. also said that he's not worried about his 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 sons losing their virginities. Apparently, what, what you gonna do if they get the wrong girl pregnant? Then you your, your dumb ass gonna be over here coming out of pocket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then complaining. We just looking at each other sideways. Because they're gonna, know, <laughs> right. they're gonna know. Oh shit, that's T.I. son. He rich. What? And the right, <laughs> just like the right nigga Ooh! gonna be all in the youngest. I ain't be to be that loud. Did y'all see that post about the girl that stole that million? Yeah, I shared sperm? that shit. Yeah, yeah I shared oh, it. I Yo, I read a whole article. Is that, that thing shit true before. though? Yo, I think it is because. Did you see that? I, keep, I saw it. I keep seeing it. I'm about to. I literally it? shared it Go like ahead. probably five minutes before you Maybe. got here. Yo, I yes, read it before queen. I got here. <laughs> yes, yes, queen. queen. <laughs> Y'all funny. <laughs> no, uh, I read it before I got here. I'm about to see if it's real or not. But I saw like I keep seeing it, and then mm-hmm. I finally saw like the story or whatever. Yeah, that and shit. And it, it said funny. that she saw he left a receipt or something um, on the dashboard and she saw how much money he had and um he left like his condom in the trash yeah, can yeah. or some shit and like she that artificially wait, what was, I, don't, like, was, I don't know if this wait, could be true though let me look it i was about to say was she like a housekeeper yeah, or yeah. yeah. okay because so i was like the only way you would herself. be in the same room with somebody's receipt and their condom is if you clean up yeah rooms. she said she yeah <laughs> so she inseminated herself mind you this nigga was like 24 yeah. and she's like 30 something and so um she got that ass for child support <laughs> i think he's 28 now and she's like 40 some shit like that Damn. but that yeah so she thing. got him for child support but she, the baby is like four or something now and so he had to pay back the money for child support but he's about to take out a lawsuit or her for like basically i don't know you know, basically, the crazy his, thing is, wow. it's like, did her dumbass post about it or something? Like, how would he have known? She w- know. she came clean when she went to the child oh, support. Oh, girl, you hearing. going to jail? She didn't. They gave her approval. I don't know if it's true. Let oh see. shit! <laughs> yeah, I'm telling. Yeah, speaking of child support, it takes you next see? to nothing to it to takes- put a man on that shit. Like, <laughs> you don't need no. As long as you got a name, oh, that, ain't no DNA tests, ain't none of that shit. As long as you like. Fuck, you can make up a fucking baby and be like, oh, yeah, put him on child support. I tried to Bam. tell my mama, but my mama <laughs> said, I'm a bad bitch. I don't need that. I was like, girl, if you don't put this man on child support, I was about 16. I said, I got two oh, yeah, years left. You better get that goddamn child support. Yeah, I don't out see nothing. <laughs> yeah, so it can't be a real story because I don't see nothing about it. But what if you, TMZ and what CNN. Because I was about to say, <laughs> sperm would be dead by that point. Yeah, That's what I, I thought. I was about to say. How long does it take before it dies? And I think oxygen it dies and being out. Yeah, because oxygen kills it, doesn't it? It kills, yeah. yeah. 
But at it's the same funny, time, though. some people do do that. I think. Well, if you freeze it. In, yes. In time. You but, have to freeze. You know. I think if you do it immediately. like. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately. I'm yeah, looking yeah. like. But not like if you like if shit? they nut in like a cup and then you take I guess the it depends. Shit and then it I guess it it just literally depends on the timing of when that shit like dies. Yeah, yeah cause it, yeah, it it will die. Cause if her ass was watching him and she was like, and her, the clerk at the damn kind of like, bitch, he a baller, bitch, he in the executive suite, the presidential <laughs> suite, bitch, and he got a hoe up there right now. I don't know. People are fucking crazy. That shit. Is oh funny. y'all, so here's the post. Let's talk about this. So. I'll be right back. Oh, oh, you getting a beer? A yeah, burr? I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting another beer. Burr, burr. I'll get you a burr. towel, boo. No, I'm kind of I know you oh sweating, boo. <laughs> Y'all funny. <laughs> it says, my best friend was cheated on by her boyfriend, and my boyfriend bought her flowers oh. just to show her that she deserves better than a cheater. He knows if he, <laughs> he knows if he's dated me, he's dated my friends. Girl, get the fuck on. When your BFF's boyfriend buys you flowers. With the what And the like? best friend posted on Snapchat like, look, my best friend's boyfriend bought me flowers. Bitch, ain't a day in hell that my man would ever buy my friend girls no flowers unless somebody died in their family and or oh, they yeah, in the hospital or something. I, I didn't hear about the story. But <laughs> you did it? Flowers, Here it is. Show them the mean girl. My best friend was cheated on by her boyfriend. And my boyfriend. Like what? I don't know. Some people was like, oh, I mean, they was comparing it to like. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. There is no comparison. My friends break up with niggas all the time. My man ain't sending them I bitches no flowers. Julia. Not bitches. Y'all my girl. Y'all my bitches. But flowers he ain't sending y'all. I ain't, I ain't sending he ain't them no goddamn bitch. flowers. <laughs> y'all, you better be in the hospital. And you then, better have and a then she dead said, relative or something. Girl, she ain't said sending to you no flowers. show her she deserves better. Like all of that sounds strange. That's, that's not like your oh, nigga is. That's a good way to tie in the Marion thing. Cause. Period. She been oh, scoping out your man. Yeah. I mean, he been scoping out your friends. What I meant, because yeah. if he's sending her flowers, because her man everybody, broke up with her. Everybody fucking with Omari. Did you hear that? What's his name? Smashed his mom. <laughs> uh, Jay Book. Yeah, Jay Book. Yeah, apparently he smashed his mom. His mom ain't nothing look good. Allegedly. <laughs> Free what? I said she ain't nothing to look at. I mean, she but, cute uh, or whatever. She ain't all. Uh, uh. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad Omari on this. Sorry, I like, need to blow y'all. If yeah, he out. shouldn't. Right, <laughs> we did did that a couple times. Well, <laughs> I, I have specifically. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it's good that he's not addressing it. To be honest, but That's Monique's the, been spilling the tea on that shit. For and you a know, Monique's is she don't give a fuck. She, she was like, mm-hmm, cause a little bit uh. What she said, my baby daddy sleeping with Omarion, baby mama, or some shit she said on live one time. I was like, oh, this bitch messy. She sounded like she started, and this was right before they went on tour. Mm, and right I was before like, they went on tour, she being messy, child. And then that shit came out to be they true. They said, you might as well. Y'all, it's, I just feel like it's some up. lines that you just don't cross. That, that, is, don't cross that is really fucked fucking up. weird. That's and they like, oh, Omarion left her, but like, look what she doing. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know why he left. Because she's been in the picture for a long time, and they have been friends for a long ass time. So it's like you've been behind my baby mama, like Fizz and Omarion. Like they were in a whole ass group together. So low key, you've been looking at my baby mama this whole fucking (laughs) time and smiling in my motherfucking face with your broke ass. (laughs) Trying to come on tour. Hey, we should get back on tour, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you were sitting up here kicking while my girl <coughs> April ass was probably walking around in fucking booty shorts and shit. Mm-hmm. Who the that's fuck knows? Mm-hmm. And that's what I saw a meme that was like it was a picture of Fitz and um <laughs> April. And it was like this the reason why your man say We'll put some clothes on with your with his homeboys. Oh no, well. yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> because I would t- like you know Jane would dress up or something. She'll have her t- her chest all exposed and oh. shit. And you know I'm not trying to come from no bad place, but I'm like yo, like don't don't dress like that. It ain't like, been no year. It's been some years since you had to tell me anything. No, I know. know. I 
was and it's for like a little hot like that ass. Because... Like I look like I'm a bad bitch. It's hot <laughs> outside sometimes. This is my season. So I'm and I'm all, like I'm all for shit. her looking good and shit. But it's like when I go around, I know my friends, friends too. Like, <laughs> so I'm like nah. But damn, what do you do about that? I mean, because for women, I'm not keeping no bitch around that's scoping my nigga. But y'all would keep those type of friends around. Like why? I mean, it's probably a man thing because y'all are just horny. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you got an ass cheek hanging out, I'm going to look. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that whole situation of the whole, like, you buying flowers for my girl because she broke up with her man. Excuse like, me, where the fuck they do that like at? That, yeah. that's a, they must be real young because I don't know young. nobody else that's doing that shit. Going for any of that, babe. We should buy her f- some said, flowers. I'd be looking at you like, do you want me to slap you in your damn face? Right <laughs> 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 you, I'd be like, what the fuck you mean, buy my friend some flowers? Bitch, I'm not even buying her no flowers for right. the breakup. I mean, it's one thing to suggest it, like, well, maybe you should do something nice for your friend. You, you know, should do out. something nice for your friend. Yeah. Or let's get her some flowers together. Yeah. Like, us yeah, together. Yeah. Like, like yeah. if it's a real, because, like, Period. me, Bria, and Jamon, like, that's my nigga. Like, yeah. I'd be going to shit with Jamon. It'd just be me, him, and his friends. Like, yeah. shit like that. But, you know, bro, if that nigga ever bought me flowers, and before I even started chilling with Jamal, I talked to Rhea about it, like, bro, you know, and I hooked him up, but I'm still gonna ask my friend, like, look, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, Period. I ain't, oh, what you think is shit. That's understandable. I, I mean, and not that she, she was like, bitch, why you asking me that? But I'm like, bro, it's a respect because, thing. Period. Period. Mm-hmm. Like, it's boundaries you don't cross. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you don't do no shit like that. Yeah. Because it's Hell like, no. your, your best friends is like my brothers. I w- I'm looking like, Right. I would. I don't. I'd be like, look at y'all. Like, you really know you got me these flowers? (laughs) That'd be fucking weird. I'd be like, the fuck you get me flowers for? But maybe I I do got some friends that I would. I was dating somebody, and then they go and fuck with them afterwards. Like it's it's been situations like that. Or still talk to niggas like that. (laughs) Well, because the relationships weren't serious, so I don't care. But it's like, damn, nigga, you was waiting for your turn, right? Basically, yeah, yeah, basically. And I was, yeah, like, and it's whack. like, it's like you know, I, I'm sorry, we weren't was just your friends, fucking, that's we, whack, were, yo, we was that's talking, whack. talking. I'm sorry, I don't me. give a fuck. That's whack. <laughs> yeah, they were saying you <laughs> whack, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You cool, but you whack. Yeah. Yeah. And then the bitch is whack if she run off with the with the ass. That's how I feel too. about April that's and Fizz. And I said they are. Corny. That's so like y'all. Yeah, that's that's like though, how they try coming to together and they happy as fuck. Coming and they together keep with a common enemy. Yeah, they do. Keep don't posting. nobody want. They though. want that attention. Want don't that nobody want to see. It y'all. hasn't hasn't Fizz fucked with a few people that he shouldn't have been fucking with. Like I don't know. Girl. Wait, you know like love and hip hop type shit. Yeah, like did he fuck with somebody that Monice or something like that, or was it Monice fucking with somebody he knew? It was something like think, that, but I, I was think like it was that. something like that. I he think was it fucking was with somebody. She, he's messy and he and Clyde I chasing always, with his broke ass, and April broke as fuck too. Girl, talking about he up. about to buy a house, nigga. You ain't buying her no motherfucking house. <laughs> Shut your ass up. You can't even Monique's afford gonna that house. Monique's gonna make his ass his life a living hell. She gonna be. <laughs> I love I'm, Monique. I am Monique. Okay. <laughs> She be talking shit like I be talking shit. I love Monique's But I'm on air no business because it get real messy if I air business. We not gonna do we that. Not gonna do Cause, that. Cause, yeah, cause let's not nice. have that episode again. <laughs> 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 well, you know what I'm saying. Hell no. Ain't nobody got time for that messy That's shit. Off the I want to smoke this, but you know I got a coughing problem. <laughs> Clearly, right. she was. I was like, "Get your life." <laughs> Fast, damn shit. <laughs> Man, yeah, that, yeah. that fucking um. Have you tried that damn that damn chicken sandwich? Hell no, I ain't tried. I, that I, ain't refuse, tried that shit, I ain't tried that. At this point, I refuse. That shit is corny. No, I refuse. That dude refuse. in Maryland died over a fucking sandwich. Like he got, got stabbed. Sh- oh, he got stabbed. Yeah. I refuse. Well, this is what I heard. Um, black people, on another end, <laughs> on black? another end, I don't know, yeah. but on another, oh, it was. On another <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> it's okay. On the other end, I heard that they already had beef and they just happened to be and at, the same was at the same. That is so. It dumb. still looked bad. <laughs> you you had to have had rape my mama or some shit for me to want to kill you, kill you and Popeyes like. 
Bro, we stand in line trying to get chicken sandwiches, bro. That shit, bro. I would never even <laughs> stand in line for that and shit. And you nigga. stabbed him? Like, damn. Was it really that? I you bet could you have fought the stupid. nigga. Damn. Y'all could have just fought in Popeye's, Did he steal bro. G- <laughs> what he steal from you, nigga? It could not have been a lot of money. Rest in or, peace Or he man. ain't pay your ass back or something. Yeah, or, it's unfortunate that he, he, he you know, nigga. his wife got <laughs> taken. But damn. like, So, okay. So, it had nothing to do with the sandwich then. No, nah, of course not. Uh, Somebody tried to say, you know, the internet making anything facts. Mm. You know, you gotta get all the facts. <laughs> that shit, and that shit look basic as fuck. Like, uh, where the so- <laughs> there ain't no sauce on it. I, I think, think it's there a little is some bit of sauce, sauce and yeah. like some pickles. They but I'm not saying I don't even go to Popeyes. I'm not damn. getting no long ass line for that shit. I made my Somebody own goddamn fried a, chicken sandwich at home. It they made a, a comp day. of like the random ass Popeye fights. Like that shit is ridiculous. Fights now it has fights. been people like um, fucking their cars up trying to skip the drive through line. Yeah, like, for a fucking why is it chicken, that like bro, it's not that deep. But niggas people, ain't skipping the line to go vote chickens. for nothing. I mean, exactly. <laughs> people, it ain't even about the chicken sandwich. It's about trending and being popular people just yeah, like to follow buying trends. it, and then it that amazes they me it. because yeah posting that the they same, bought it the post same, that they in the line yeah the same thing it's like y'all doing all this clout chasing and it's a motherfucker out here that would kill you for clout like yeah. because you skipped them in a chicken line right. get a fucking chicken girl, sandwich girl that ring is so cute oh, thank you he did good girl <laughs> when did you get that honey girl I've been at it I feel like I'm just now seeing that really? it's a nice ring I just girl. be chilling girl I'll be like yeah. let me see girl that is cute oh thank you yes. he did girl he did girl. he did, he did good, good. <laughs> little pretty little penny. He got a washcloth <laughs> on his head, y'all. One of my coworkers just um bought a ring for his girl, and he was like, "Yeah, I've been saving this for three years." I was like, "Damn, rings that, are fucking expensive, I'm, expensive, bro. bro." I'm trying to find Y'all. my match, bro. I was looking at him like, "Oh, I was telling now? her about. Um, <laughs> did you see? Uh, I mean, this is like really old, old, but did you see Mayweather's wife's ring? Hell Floyd no. Mayweather, ignorant as fuck, bruh. Ignorant. The whole, the entire fucking ring, like the this, part that goes the around whole the band their part diamonds. is like, can you imagine have some chunky at girl? Like I chunky, have I'm talking about they're like, like the ones that, that go around the to finger were like this big. Yeah, and then the main wear it. One, That's why he got that shit that big. <laughs> that shit huge. And then the the main you one on the well top, got a necklace. that diamond is like that fucking. I would no, not wear that it's shit. Ignorant as fuck. I was like, she gonna get arthritis. <laughs> she better. She can't go nowhere in public with it. Hell yeah. no! Somebody, somebody be quick to rob her out. ass. Kim Kardashian. Now, Hello? granted, when you do buy an expensive ass rings, they they imprint tiny ass serial numbers they in do. the diamonds. So if you do steal it and they you do. try to sell it, they or can some track shit, that shit. They track it That's down. So crazy. girl, they track everything. Yeah, yeah. That everything. Shit That's is where like the insurance crazy. comes in handy with it. So like you know, say she was washing dishes and she lost the shit in the dishwasher. Or insurance. Something like that. Yeah. Like insurance, or you know, yeah. If you get robbed, oh for it, they have God. insurance for jewelry, girl. You what? got a K jewels, they're gonna be like, you want insurance? Because you got to think about it. Some women out here walking around with fifteen thousand dollar rings on insurance. Oh, that shit bitch. making my heart race. <laughs> I don't even want a ring that expensive. I'd be scared I'm gonna get robbed. Yeah. I just want something with like a nice little stone that yeah. protects me or some shit like yeah. that. That's dope because I was, I was started to ask you like, are you the type that wants like a big ass ring or like? No, nah, not no you, big. I'm, I mean, look at my little ass hand. And that's what I, I said. I, said, I didn't need nice, nothing crazy. Cute, I would like a little couple. I don't know. Y'all making me nervous about that diamond no. shit. I'm just I, saying. I think about I it all would the time. not want to walk I'm out around alone, like that. I'll be like. Now stones and shit, some shit where I feel protected. Hell yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah nice Give me stuff. that. Give me that. That's what I want. <laughs> no, Just make sure the band actually real, feet. you know, because yeah. that real shit and not plated. Yeah, facts. And then the stone, you know, I'm in the game. Make it look cute. You can add like two diamonds on the side or some shit like yeah. that. I'd be real I, cute. I, we went ring shopping. But I told what type cute, of girl. ring. Thank you. I was like smooth that. with it because I, I was just, I just told him what like, style. And he was like, You want to go look? I had no. I was like, he been bullshitting all these damn years. Man, let's go <laughs> That's look. so funny. And he, girl. I did not think. 
Because I don't think he listens to half the shit I say anyways. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that shit go one in. Let go over so his head. Cute. And he actually got the style that I was like, you motherfucker. You mm-hmm. actually listen. And then you went above and beyond what I thought. That is so That's the cute. ring. Ignorance. I would never wear that. That shit was not out. N- th- never. But it is beautiful. Beautiful. Don't quote me on it, but I think it's like a fifty million dollar ring. Like that shit is expensive. I'm probably lowballing it. Like beautiful that is, ring. That's it's a lot pro- of fucking money. It, I want to know what Gu- you see. How Gucci? God do. damn. Gucci. I don't know what the hell. I Gucci. wasn't expecting it to be that nice. Yeah, but mm. like, uh, cause she I mean, was on the, the band, show one I went, time. Oh, look how that bitch glistens. I wouldn't even want the band to be like. It's like this lot. big around her 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 finger though. Like Shit. it pokes out like that. Much. The, no, look, I I don't remember. I mean, I don't know if you remember me showing you Wendy Williams when she was still married. Yeah, her I remember fucking you telling ring me. Was that nigga married stacked, right like, now. Like that's the ring he got for the woman he's married to right that's now. That's what I said. Yeah. I said that's what he got. You talking about Mayweather? Yeah, yeah. I said, why? But he do everything big, so I'm kind of not that fucking I'm surprised. not surprised at that part, but damn. He walk around with a million. That's a lot. Why? That's all I don't <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, bro. Where do you think you're going with a million? Uh, unless you're going to the strip club, bro. I don't want nothing that expensive. I don't want to. I'd be feeling bad. I'd be like, bae, why? <laughs> yeah, you would definitely be a target. Why? I would have been like, we could have used that money to do a lot of other shit. I would have been mad. Investing to get more key. money. Can we go sell this? Like, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> we and can get you, that money you back. You remember we talked about it today, and I said, if they lost everything right now, they could fall back on that fucking ring. <laughs> Facts. That's See? Crazy. And that's where it's smart. <laughs> yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, they can be fall back and be smart. like, fuck, sell the ring. But yeah, I'd like just shit. like some simple shit. Uh-huh. A stone, like a love. Um, What's those... Those stones that represent like, love. Uh, like, they're like precious stones. Like just getting something that's not a diamond, but it's like people, a lot of people, not gemstones. Well, a lot of people do get gemstones. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of girls that have gotten But you know, like, like the crystals that people mm-hmm. buy. And a lot mm-hmm. of people like, yeah, they get amethyst. Amethyst is a popular yeah, I got crystal to get for like your that's ring a, um, and stuff. Oh, is it? That's yeah. interesting. And some, some women I've seen, because girl, I'll be in all these like wedding planning fucking like groups on facebook really and everybody be like show your ring when are you guys planning to get married may 30th finally oh oh my god so (laughs) are you guys gonna let me officiate it you guys she look, said she's a fucking she's ordained really? i'm I like ordained. you're an ordained master get the fuck out of here for real no and that's why i was like hey girl I her <laughs> no i was like oh my god that was so, how do you, so much money how do you go about doing that i just did it online i told you it, you could go online but it's but like, i think you gotta pay for some other shit so i'm gonna find out but mm-hmm. if you guys let me do it oh my god girl, that'd be great y'all will be I my first like trial run that. that's why i was like that'd be awesome obviously we're not gonna make you do it for free like no, I'm not gonna ask you to do that. Gonna, I don't. Uh, I don't even know how much you should charge for girl, that. We'll Just talk like about it off, right, facts. Off, <laughs> right off, off the, the air. Right <laughs> but that'd awesome. be awesome. I would love to be a part. That's of that. dope. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. It could be a little fun. We'll talk about it. Girl, we already know. <laughs> <laughs> we already said we were gonna try to take a shot after we say our vows and do all that. <laughs> I saw a post about these two. This oh y'all don't smoke though. Is that gonna be like y'all um thing when y'all take a after shot? y'all kiss? Take yeah, a shot? I would yeah, love to fucking take a shot. shot. Give me my That's shit. So cute. Some good <laughs> shit. Take and we don't eat cake, so we might do like donuts or some. Shit no, like yeah, that. I said I really, That's I was so, like Krispy yeah. Kreme donuts, like a big ass donut That's station. That's such a y'all thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Yeah, because cake is cute, but I'm not. I no fucking cake. Bro, no I scrape cake. off the icing and I'll just eat the bread. He's not going <laughs> to eat cake. I'm like, I ain't going to eat cake either. If it ain't, <coughs> if it ain't cheesecake, then... I'll, see, Ooh, I have said, a cheesecake. There's a, like, oh, I was yeah. looking what at ideas. What kind of wedding are you guys trying to have? Like a smaller one. I mean, but like, is this something you guys want to talk about on here? Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. I mean, he likes me playing everything. I'm like the mastermind of everything we do. Like, if we plan a trip, I plan a trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the plan. I tell I'm him good request it. these days off, have this much money, is spending money, and then we go from there. Mm. And so, like, he lets me plan everything. So basically, a smaller wet initially because we've been engaged for a while. Mm-hmm. I've been indecisive for a while. You want to just be like, let's wham bam go to the fucking courthouse. I said absolutely fucking <laughs> not, absolutely not. 
That's so but funny. <laughs> I've been so indecisive all the time because I'm like, do we need to go to the courthouse and then just do it later? But I'm like, no, I still want to wear like a dress and have a ceremony. And like, yeah. at first, our fucking like guest list was like 100 people. Then it went down to like 75. Then, then we started down cutting like it down. 20. <laughs> we was like, yo, no, nah, it's, it's going to be 20. And it's I mean, because be- granted, no one's helping us, you know? Like, my parents yeah. ain't helping. Her, mo- her mom ain't helping. Like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because everybody got their own shit going on. So I, I don't expect nobody that even. Because yeah. I also feel like the more, like, say my parents did kick in and hers mm-hmm. did too, everybody's going to have a fucking opinion about how things yeah. need to go. Yeah, that's so His true. mom already said that she was like, like, the last time we talked about it was like a few weeks ago. She was like, why don't you just get married in Mexico? And I was like, why like not saying that i wouldn't it's just like that's more money to like fly down to mexico bring my fucking dress i'm gonna have like three luggages trying to get this shit together like it i was like i understand like your family down in mexico would do all that but i was just like that just sounds like a lot yeah when your parents are here so i was just like what the fuck is the sense in that Mm. and that would that would literally be but the first time just... i meet your family in mexico yeah so i'm like that's just a like i know they would treat it that i know they would spoil the fuck out of us we would have somewhere to stay we would have food well maybe i'll have... go there for the honeymoon that's i was like we could just go there to visit yeah and well aside from it being really dangerous right now yeah <laughs> i was gonna say it's really I'm a dangerous. little scared to go to mexico <laughs> what's going on it's the cartel, the cartel shit. Shit. oh yeah and they're that's like true. They're killing local people. They're doing. They're take. They're like wreaking havoc on Mexico. So I'm like, huh, the where like they where killing he, innocent people. Yeah. yeah, they just killed um some they cop just, that arrested some him. like women and children, right, oh. or some shit like that. Oh, and damn. yeah, your dad think, was just telling. Us yeah, about. my dad was telling me about it. And fucking Trump wants to go invade Mexico. <gasps> it's over. just too much. But it's it's just all Mexico is shit. a lot. Like, it's, they doing too much. Yeah, his and dad just to told us today. He was like, because his parents were over here hanging out with us. His dad was like, in December, I was planning on going down there and like going to visit my mom for like a couple of days. We're going to drive because they, they love road trips and they love driving mm-hmm. down to Mexico. He said, I'm not going no more because it's too dangerous. They're and killing people down there. And she's 92. So he, and he want, wants to go he knows see his it's, mom. It's, it's about to be that time. So he wants to see his mom before, you know, she goes. And she's really, you yeah, know, he's but like. I was like, dad, it's too dangerous. Like, y'all can get it's hijacked. It's sad that he has to be like, I can't even shit. go. That's mm-hmm. so So that's crazy. why I was like, when your mom was like, yeah, I got, you know, we got fam, Like, our family would take care of you. And I'm like. Mm, why didn't go to Mexico? I'm Absolutely good. not. <laughs> I'm good. He was like, nah. <laughs> I was nah, like, y'all just do it in the backyard. I've been thinking about we that recently. Because we got a big ass backyard too. Period. Just get it looking real nice. Period. Mm-hmm. And I've been recently, because I reached out to a wedding planner, consultant with her, talked about my budget and everything. She's a sweet woman. She would be the planner and the photographer. What? I'm just looking like. No. I told her I had to weigh the numbers as Girl. far as. Because she'll find the venue. She was going to prepare. The don- I told her we wanted donuts and she was like got you I was like she was like you have a specific <laughs> donut place how is she going to do the pictures too she says she has an assistant so the assistant will wrangle everything get everything set up she will help but she's mm. primarily the photographer and she has a whole company it's, it's like, pretty much like, our best bet for it's right like, now and I was like that's a good alternative as opposed to I don't want to go into debt for a wedding. Hell no, man. Well, we, we went, could just go travel the world. We went like, to I don't the wanna... fucking Holiday Inn uptown, and <laughs> we got a consultation there, and fucking for like an hour, no, like what a two hour wedding or like an hour wedding or something. It was shit one like of that. the smaller ones, so it was like obviously the ceremony itself was like fifteen minutes, and then like the, the reception, the reception, and the open bar. Bro, that shit was for like, like a four hour open bar. It was like, was it ten thousand? Easy eight thousand dollars for yeah. like for for like forty <laughs> people. I was like, nah, you got me fucked up, bro. Like, we would have been paying for that shit for years. Because like, I got quotes, <laughs> I got quotes from other places for too. Four before hours we went. worth of fun. I was like, nah. And I'm it was good. a beautiful venue, but I was like, I refuse to go into debt, and we don't even own our own house. I was like, no, like. And we, we were thinking about here. that was like what two years ago when we were thinking about that. No, that was like last year we went. No, nah, was it? Yeah. <coughs> Either last year or earlier this year. It was like, we went, we were like, okay, let's start fucking planning. And I was like, 
Mm. <laughs> it's really boy. discouraging because you're like, why does a wedding have to cost this much for it to be meaningful? So that's yeah. why I was like, I I found the small wedding company and the, the photographer is the planner. And she oh, her oh, her work is beautiful. Like <coughs> Oh yeah, I'd love so. to see some pics. Yeah. And she like her packages include like she doesn't just do small ways, she does like people that want to just elope. And go like she does courthouse things, and she'll include her photography, like 125 plus images of like her photography, and she, you know, picks out mm. a place where you want to have your ceremony. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to. Um, once I start doing the weddings, I kind of want to do like people that just want to like spontaneous weddings. Yeah, I would love. And that's what that. she was like. She was like, me and my husband had a small wedding with like 15 people. And she was like, like oh, yeah, I, I, I got inspired, yeah, by having a, a, a tinier setting because it's more intimate. And, and that's what and <laughs> and everybody that hit us up was like, I'm coming to your wedding, right? I'm looking like I physically haven't even seen you in like two years, so wow. you're my friend. But no, I'm saying yes right now in a message or on Facebook as a comment. Yeah, girl, you invited. No, I'm not paying for you to come eat and then leave. <laughs> and it's, we went to one of her friend's weddings, and her shoot was expensive as fuck. But balled. as soon as everybody ate and out. drank, a lot of people just did. Like They saw the out. ceremony, ate and drank. At this and girl's left. wedding, I didn't stay to dance and stuff, but I had to leave. <sighs> but I didn't realize But when you thing. invite 200 guests and a lot of them leave. I did leave them like, some little money in their honeymoon shit thing. See? Mm-hmm. Well, at least you cared enough to yeah. do that. Because yeah, if you yeah. have to leave, I get that. But a lot of this shit, it's like she didn't just spring this on you last minute. She That's she true. invited you, and you RSVP'd, and you knew exactly what you mm-hmm. was doing that weekend. So I understand the the here and there's of like, oh, I gotta go. Like I have right. a you know mm-hmm. something to I got go a baby to. Now, I got yeah, <laughs> especially if it's no kids or something of that sort of. Right. You know, I didn't know she could come. I would have brought her. I did notice it was kids there. Yeah, it's like dang, but that was my first wedding. Yeah, so no, I, I, I totally now understand. I've learned wedding etiquette, so I know it for the future. <laughs> you always, I mean, you can just ask and be like, "Hey, is there kids?" You know, at ours, we were always like initially like, "Fuck no, no kids." Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I said kids no, kids. no kids, no kids. Oh, I mean, you know, yeah, obviously you know. Bella and Penelope, like his niece Penelope, is like it's like yeah, they're little girls there. yeah but if everybody brings their kids then it's that's like, more he- and venues don't care are we you're paying per now? head and if your child might not like chicken and green beans and whatever the hell else with steak Facts. and stuff the young kids might not want to eat that shit but we paying for them to eat mm-hmm. some shit they, they ain't gonna some eat chicken nuggets and french fries and y'all gonna go to <laughs> mcdonald's afterwards <laughs> what the Facts. fuck yeah. oh i gotta feed the babies i gotta go girl my baby hungry he ain't eat that shit Girl, won't well, get fuck y'all. We don't pay for right. the damn food. <laughs> you gonna pay me back, bitch? <laughs> and the venue don't y'all care. You put away. that deposit down, bitch. You better come up with the rest. Mm-hmm. Like the venues Dang. don't give a fuck. Wedding I'm looking like expensive. y'all ain't got no no kids free menu nothing. That, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. Everybody was like, bring your own motherfucking food. Get you some. 50 piece from Walmart 60 piece 80 piece that Whatever they highest that And put it in some damn Pretty ass <laughs> Buy me some sh- Some shit A That's nice plating hilarious. Y'all can eat some Fried chicken from Walmart With some sides Put it on a fancy plate They ain't gonna know the They ain't gonna know the guy. They gonna be like Damn they had soul food At that shit Yeah What yeah, y'all plan sure on do. Um, Having for food I would love I want like, tacos I have always said that we could do a taco. <laughs> I mean, refried beans, cock green. You know, you know, you gotta I feel like if it's going to be Mexican food, I feel like it's going to be like Mexican food and soul food. And it's going to be a fucking like buffet that or something. That sounds amazing. And Hell you get to yeah. choose. I would love steak tacos <laughs> with a side of greens. Great. And she knows I love cornbread. <laughs> Period. So and I want great. macaroni and cheese. Give me a mountain of macaroni yeah, and cheese. Macaroni, macaroni and cheese and tacos. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Everybody's That's stomach going to be hurting. <laughs> <laughs> and I want my whole wedding theme to be weed. That's dope. Like, like edibles and shit. I want edibles. No, there's so many couples doing that now. When They're I like, got down, fuck that other etiquette the night, shit. I want us to do a shotgun with the blunt or some shit like that. Mm. Do it, man. When me and Jane went on this cruise, we ate these edibles. 
We um, met the coolest white people. Yeah. Like they they were from Cali and like she hey, had Aaron a, and Samantha. What up, what up? <laughs> and uh they That's had so like funny. these gummies. They were I swear to god they were like this little. They were like, you know, okay. You know that that gum ice ice breakers when it comes to like the cubes? Yeah. That's how small the edible was. <laughs> they gave us cubes and they were they gave gummies. Us three and fucking so They were like I you split two. Y'all split had one and a half each. This motherfucker ate two. I ate one. <laughs> and he was a shell out of his fucking mouth. I was, was fucked up. I, I would have been so mad as hot. fuck. I would have cussed his ass out. I said, let's wait to split the other one. He ate both of them. I was like, you I was in the shit. room. <laughs> you ain't shit. That's so was, fucked up. We were in our room, right? So, like, the, the rooms were, like, really small. Have you been on a cruise? I haven't. They're fun as fuck. You gotta, gotta, you gotta go look into it. One. But like, no, nah, literally, like the room is like this size with the king size bed in the middle part, and um, so I'm high out of my fucking mind, and like, there's no window, so I start getting claustrophobia and shit. So I'm sitting there <laughs> like, yo, I said I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm like, but I'm so high, I don't want to get up, and like, <laughs> I'm tapping Jay, and she's like. Fall, she she done fell the hell asleep like yeah. she was looking so peaceful and shit i was like <laughs> i gotta go i got up i started walking around and i was just hot. i was fucked up. I was, at, ever since then i've been like man fuck edibles i don't want them anymore <laughs> that shit took me so like i was you like have you, you ever been so high that you just wanted to be sober like i was like nah i'm not built for this shit i can't do it <laughs> I've definitely been that high like a few times, like a handful of times. I hate where that I just feeling. was like, bruh, please let this stop. Like, yeah, yeah, like I just want to wake the fuck up. <laughs> I, hate, I don't want to be high anymore. I hated that shit. I was not uh, trying to get this high. It's been a long time since I felt like that, but that's the worst feeling ever. I like the I geeky was, high where like everything makes me laugh. I love that high. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, bro, you geeking. You be, like, <laughs> he be like, like he'll. Your favorite thing when you're high as fuck is to like repeat something funny over and over, and you'll replay it like five times. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, we've watched this five times. Like, relax. <laughs> That's so funny. But, no, I hadn't gotten high in so long. So on the cruise, I was like, fuck it, we're on a cruise. I'm on an edible, and then man, I slept. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck was wrong, dude. You was tweaking. I was bugging. I was high. They as told your ass one in the hand. Yeah, but you know when you look at, at it, it I was level. like, this little bullshit ain't gonna do nothing. You to probably me. was like, so funny. Yeah, I got all this build on I me. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Hell I said yeah. they had that. They ain't got shit to do with THC. getting high. That ain't and she told you. She said. <laughs> she said we from LA. We got that medical license, man. They ain't bullshit. <laughs> that medical weed. I ain't want no more after that. I was like, I ain't it was fucking. So funny. Ain't and fucking it was so funny because wasn't that like their honeymoon? Yeah, it was their honeymoon. Yeah, that was their honeymoon. Oh, that's and they, so yeah, cute. so they were like sharing the wealth. They were like, y'all want to get high? I was like, fuck yeah. We met some cool. <laughs> excuse me. We met life. some cool ass people on that cruise. Like we were literally just walking Girl, around making cruise. friends. I want to go. You gotta go to cruise. You should. It's Girl. fun as hell. Bring Rhea ass. We going to cruise. Oh my Girl. god. I would love to Bro, go that, to cruise with my bitch. You that ship in. is so big. Like you don't even feel the weight. Like you, really? you feel like you're on land. I'd be so scared. I don't know how to swim. No, everybody thinks that. And that we thought that we were like, okay, this is our first cruise. Like we've been flying. We're before. gonna drown. It's the Titanic. Then, <laughs> girl. Okay, so we flew to Orlando. <coughs> girl, the flight to Orlando is an hour and a half. If you can stomach an hour and a half on a flight, cool. We get there, slept the night, and then the next day we boarded our ship. Now the only thing that made me feel really fucking weird. Cause we prepare for it. We brought ocean sickness patches that you put behind your ear. I don't know what it is, but you have to put it behind your ear. And I think the only thing that made me feel really fucking weird was that the ship taking off during, um, yeah, that sail. was the only time you it was like a, for an hour. It's like zooming. And like, if you stand on the side, you can see, you can feel and see how fast you're going. It's like, they're mm. taking off and you're like, what the fuck? That's kind of how planes start out. Yeah. Mm, I love planes. And like, then it coast. When they hit that far. Like yeah. This, like, and so like, when you're wow, walking, like, if you're walking outside the ship going the opposite way and they're going, you're like, wait, I feel like the <laughs> ship is going this way. But I'm walking this. It was fucking with me. I was like, I'm too drunk for this. We didn't have too many drinks already. <laughs> and we just so now funny. leaving. 
so it, it was that's the only part after that it's like smooth sailing you don't yeah. even know you're the only way you know you're on the water if you're standing there on the rail and you're like damn we really in the fucking ocean right now <laughs> and it's yeah, the yeah. littest shit because it's like whenever you leave looking at the ocean it's like you're in a big ass hotel like basically like all the food is free like the only thing you really pay for is alcohol girl when i tell you you ain't gotta pay for no food if y'all want to they have specialty like, restaurants like a steakhouse and sushi what? and shit and you ain't gotta pay for shit yeah you just eat. buffet line like but and not golden corral buffet no too. like remember that buffet. time on carnival cruise what happened and they all had to eat sandwiches oh uh, shit when <laughs> it was not cruise <laughs> when was this you know how like them motherfuckers would have been rioting. Something all them black oh, people that was on our cruise, hot. they would have been rioting. Something <laughs> happened on the ship, and I think motherfuckers had to eat sandwiches and shit. As many black people was on our ship. Oh, them shit. black people would have turned that ship upside down. Ships, I want to say, like on the carnival. Cruise. Was it carnival? It was a few Sad. years ago. See, I don't know. We had a good experience, though. That's we, good no. to know. That and they got the fun. club, girl. They yeah, they got club. a club in there too. Girl, the they got a club, a casino. They got a theater, like girl. all kinds of and shit. And they they don't play old. Sh- no, they play the new shit. Like, girl, they was playing damn the baby and everybody and damn girl Travis Porter, all the good shit. <laughs> it was the shit baby that the girl. shit that everybody can twerk to. Yeah, they had like twerk competitions and what? like. Harriest man chess competitions. Yeah. Like it was, all, it was just all kinds of shit. It's fun as you, fuck. You, you would see how many people was turned the fuck up, and it was. You'd be like, okay, I'm scared. I don't want no a lot of older people to be there. Like, mm-hmm. no, there yeah, was plenty of the younger crowd people. Was pretty I, young. Yeah, child, it was all ages. Now that club, that club closed at like two thirty. Mm-hmm. And the pizza's <laughs> uh, twenty four hours, and they'll come deliver the it too. Yeah. Oh, girl. Request y'all y'all are it. selling me with this cruise. Go on a cruise, girl. If that you go on a party, cheap, if you want a party I need cruise, a boo to go on a cruise. Go on carnival, girl. Get you. You can go we'll sing with your go bag something out there. <laughs> Let me go girl, live on Facebook. I boast about a cruise. No one of my friends been going on a cruise. They like, bitch, you late. Yeah, <laughs> like, my god sister goes on them all the time. Now this bitch just be traveling. I ain't even seen her on a cruise in a minute. She just be flying <laughs> overseas. Like, yeah, and it's like once you do a couple cruises, I think you get. Sick of it. You just go to the destination. You know what? 2020. Go I'm gonna cruise. get me a passport. Go That's do that. Be my goal. Do that. I've been needing to January. get me one. Matter of fact, as soon as I get my taxes, where do get you want to I um. Well, first of all, I gotta at least go on a cruise so I can like get used to like. You yeah. gonna love it, man. I mean, cause I'm not scared to travel in like the U S. Like, yeah, that's nothing I've lived. I like, will a say lot that. Of places I oh, live. and people were smoking weed on the ship too. You could smell it, like. You but it has to be late at night when ain't no nobody out there on the yeah. deck on, on the, the top deck, and it'd be the employees they'd be sweeping up. But he'd be like, "You see one? Unless you could do like you know those weed pins with the THC. You, if you could just buy that, because people were smoking during I'm, the day. I'm gonna be like, y'all trying to let me hit that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fuck that. Get, go on the cruise. You gonna bag something while you out there? Period. That's true. Make him pay your, pay for all true. your drinks. Pay for the drinks. <laughs> Girl, that we snuck. We snuck true, our alcohol I think on. About that part. Yeah. Let me go as a single woman out here. Hey, Girl, yeah. Making money. Because it's a vacation boo girl. And they trying to ball out on somebody. Hey, I might Y'all ain't never gonna head. see each other again. So might shit. have a whole yeah. ass girl at home. Chad. You be ready to ball out on somebody. You mm-hmm. never know. That's I'm married. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> That's know. so funny. That'd be the main nigga right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I ain't married and left his ring in uh, the the And they have shit. adult <laughs> sections where it's adults only. Yeah. So ain't no kids yeah. running around. Oh, adult yeah, only yeah. pools. Uh, jacuzzis girl I'm we met so many people ass out <laughs> girl, we met so many people Bruh, we went to the adult side which was in the back of the of the ship so there's there, there's a it's pool a and then there's pool. two hot tubs and then like the pizza restaurant and like the bar and, bar. and like sushi and all girl. like all that shit surrounded the whole backside Adults. where only adults can come in this woman come out in so, in a lime she green like straight up stuck. stripper like <laughs> She Ghetto had. As fuck. It was a fishnet bathing suit. Like 
It was like lace. Everything. It was. It looked like lace lingerie. Everything was showing. Like it was. She, it was like a lace bra and lace underwear. And I was like, I that she know damn well that ain't no damn. That was literally see. like lingerie. That Girl, she, some married niggas. They, you could tell they probably left their wives at the, the other pool where all the kids be. <laughs> you so funny. Girl, no, we was. We no, that, that was taking I pictures. Know, of her I know shit. y'all are serious. And they was up on the balcony walking past, and they stopped. One of the old heads <laughs> pulled out his damn phone, was recording because her ass was like, yeah. Girl, yeah, she bouncing around, titties jiggling, and she, <laughs> I was like, Ooh. and she was busty, you know what I'm saying? She, was, she wasn't like no little petite thing or nothing. Like she, she was like titties all yeah. out, ass all out, like nipples showing she, through the I lace. I was like, she knows she dead, and right. everybody was looking like shit. she know there ain't no goddamn business. I don't even think she had on a beach cover up, did she? Oh, she came out there. Or, yeah, I'm like, so walk, you don't walk around. She's showing it everything. everything. I said, so she don't walk past the children through the <laughs> through the elevators and it's everything. It's about as fishnet as fishnet as it she gets. Fishnet and so lace, and we was like, oh, get out, girl. And her friends, get out, girl. And her friends was wearing <laughs> actual girl. bikinis and shit, but she was like, fuck it, I'm trying to pull me some. We Ew, was like, right. No, we was like, girl, <laughs> we was like, you look. Mm-mm. Thirsty as hell, goddamn! It wasn't cute, and you could tell she was she was older than us. So it was oh like, my god! Mm-mm. No, but when you get to the destinations and stuff, girl, you got to do it. Girl, we said fuck it, we won't go pay for no damn like excursions to go like scuba diving and snorkeling. And so then we was like, fuck it, we going to the local beach in the Bahamas. Yeah. We walk down about 10, 15 minutes from the port. You just walk down a sidewalk and keep going straight. <laughs> and you get to this beach. <coughs> they got a man out there. He got a shack. And he has big ass smokers and grills. And he just cooking jerk chicken, rice, beans. Girl, girl, they got a bar out there. It was beautiful. And the water is so clear. Ooh, you can to see go. your toe. Like, girl. I need to go. Please go on a cruise. I'll tell I everybody. Me, I'm corny. I would go get me some little beach shoes because I ain't trying to get bit by no damn crabs or none of this. No, shit. but it, okay. If you go to the Bahamas, the water is so clear. You don't. There I'm ain't nothing. Scared, and the water is calm. There's no waves. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's about <Gotcha>. to <laughs> No, the water is so calm. There's no waves. We, wow. When I tell you, no waves. You literally no stand in there on the beach and it's white sand. No waves. You ain't got to fight the water. So I know you see some creatures, though. No. <coughs> the only thing we probably seen was <coughs> the tiniest <coughs> fish. And they were like, just baby fish. Like, they ain't even bothering you. They're like, oh, shit, I'm scared of you. So they swim off. Aww. But, like, the water is so calm. I've never wow. seen a beach with no waves yeah. until we went to the Bahamas. I said, they really don't have waves? I want to go. What's a good time to go? Um, I looked it up. Peak season to travel to the Bahamas because it's warm year round. Obviously, peak season for any Caribbean island is like December through like July okay. or June. After June, it's hurricane season. Okay. We went in June, so like like the first week of June, so we kind of beat the hurricanes and stuff. Yeah, that's good. That's Girl, you true. have to go I wanna on go. a cruise I wanna because, go. girl. We plan it for one for February, and they're only charging for five days to go from Fort Lauderdale to, it's like five days. So the first day we're in Fort Lauderdale, we leave Fort Lauderdale. Second day we're on the sea sailing. So you have a day on the ship just to be fucking around going, just do whatever. (laughs) Then the next day, like the third day out, we're like at the Bahamas, you spend the you know the ship gives you a schedule they say this is how long we're gonna be here this is all the activities if you don't get off the boat this is all the activities we're gonna have oh, okay and then um go to the bahamas the next day on it you're out at sea the next day they go to dominican republic to this island um not island probably like off the coast of it mm-hmm. and then the next day after that it's another day and i think the last day you go back to florida so it's like for five hundred dollars, it was like two oh four, and that's before like the little taxes that they charge. The taxes are probably like an extra fifty, sixty dollars. Taxes for what? per oh. person, yeah. So it's like for five days on a cruise, you kind of. I mean, and that was y'all first one five days. No, our first one was four days because we were trying to play it safe. We're like, I don't know, we've never been on a ship that long, and but when you go, you kind of just like, it's a party boat. 
(laughs) They have so much. Music is always playing everywhere you go. Food is always being served. Sure. You all you had to say was everything free. That's my the fucking food. Now, if you want, what we did was snuck alcohol on it (laughs) in our luggage because they do have a drink package where it's like I don't like the price I could never because I'm a drinker I would never pay the price that they're offering but the drink price includes alcoholic beverages soda tea coffee whatever Mm -hmm. and it's like all in all it's probably like $50 per day per person and I'm like nah so we snuck our alcohol in our it's luggage like and was like dollars. fuck that yeah we were like fuck that but damn how much are the drinks on the cruise like like regular if you go to a bar oh okay so yeah, i'm like, like $10 and, shit. and so you might be chancing if it's going to be strong if it's not gonna be, you kind of don't know so i'm gonna need to rent like 300 dollars for drinks yeah so and like, so that's why we we snuck it on and then we bought extra drinks on the you know at the bars and stuff that they had Cause some bartenders they might skimp on the shit, and some bartenders might make that shit strong as hell. Now, when we went to the Bahamas and went to that public beach that they had, girl, they had a DJ out there, they had drink specials, they oh, had right. games, That's the type drinking of shit. games. I'm gonna have to go with some people. You have to. It's I can't so just lit. go by myself. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the hamster. Oh. Over there. What is he doing? <laughs> what is the way he, doing? he do best, I'm fucking off. All he do is eat all day. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah, he bit y'all. Jane. When? Why? He bit me till I bled. I was like, you know what, what you fucking asshole. <laughs> I was like, hamster? girl. Nah, just one well, since he's a guinea pig, now hamsters are smaller. They're guinea harder pig. to control and they're meaner. They bite no matter what. Yeah. With a guinea pig, they're cuter. I mean, they're bigger. They're easier to handle. They be picking it up. Yeah, it was really for uh, Bella too, cause yeah. um, she wanted a rabbit, but you know how rabbits. I are wanted like, a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, they both wanted one. But I was, I was like, like, I want like, a rabbit. I, I think you were the one that told me they get scared really easily and have like heart attacks and shit. Chi Chi right? probably would have, yeah, Chi Chi if he would have went after it mm-hmm. as a prey, like it would have had a heart attack and died. Like they go into yeah. shock so bad they'll die. Yeah, so that's why I didn't want to get her one of those because I didn't I want. I thought she was gonna say like they attack you or something. No, they nah. no. <laughs> like I just think it's people a waste think of that money. rodents are like oh really... you don't have the dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Chichi. then we play loud ass music, yeah. so I don't. It I probably, don't... Yeah, I didn't want it to get scared oh. yeah. and like die. And then I did my research <laughs> on the guinea pigs and like they're good with kids and they last like seven or eight that years or something. I think it's like oh, eight no. to ten years. Yeah, like eight to ten years. They last a long time. Maybe I'll get dynasty one. It teaches them yeah. responsibility, like how to clean and help feed uh, them, and. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good pet, you know, like a starter pet, because hamsters they die easy, and that's. I would have to want to yeah. touch it. He so she could He's soft as it. hell. No, his fur is literally the softest thing ever. Yeah. Rabbits are like that too, because they clean themselves, mm-hmm. so they're like they groom all the time, like how cat they just constantly groom. He's really cute, though. He's a really cute little boy. He's just, he's a little fucking dick because he likes to tear up everything. <laughs> right. So I'll be like, "Fuck you." He hasn't bit me yet. Yet. <laughs> right. Yet. Did you like um? Did you like Kanye's new album? I didn't listen to it yet. What? It oh actually is really fucking good. I I, I really like it. When he said, "He's like, have you listened to Jesus is King?" I was like. Mm, not willingly, no. And then he was like playing it, and I was like, "Oh shit, this is taking me back to." to this is legit. That, that, like that, that, that will kill you. Well, not like that, nah, but like nah, Jesus it's, it's walks. A legit like ass, he like, keeps a choir album. with him. The whole it's thing like, has choir on it. Like it's he, a gospel album. It is like dead at like it's, no, but it's no you know cussing. How he, like to, he ain't cuss now. It's like yeah. Jesus walks, Kanye, but no, like no cuss, just that energy of like having a choir and you, it make you. So he sing. on some Kirk Frank, Franklin shit. Yeah, no, yeah. like for real, his choir like, for is real. everything. To but him. it's good. Like I, I, I listen, listen to, to it, it in the mornings. It, it puts me in a good mood and shit. And it's crazy because I'm not really religious like that. So I'm not religious, but yeah. I will. I've been kind of thinking about going to church, and that's making me wonder why I want to go to church because I know it's not 
because I want to go to church. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, yeah, I don't, I'm. I'm mm. I got a relationship with God already. You know, okay. I talk to him. I mean, I do too. I just feel like um, sometimes you need that like community feeling, and I think that's what I want. Yeah, when we went to my my fake though. Well, they but when I went to my grandfather, my great grandfather's funeral, I Mm -hmm. think that's when I was like, "This is why," because my mom never raised me to be specifically in a church. It's kind of like my grandmother did that, and she took me to like Baptist churches and stuff. But like my great grandmother, who was married to my great grandfather that just passed, Mm -hmm. um. She was in that whole Pentecostal like tambourines and like catching the Holy Ghost, and so I was I grew up watching that, and it didn't move me until we went to his funeral, and I was like, "Yo, I feel like God is in here." No, I felt I know what you mean, and I was that. like, it shocked me, and I was kind of like, oh. "That's because yeah, we when, forgot it was even a when funeral. you have right when you have that." all of that energy coming into one room is so powerful Mm -hmm. and i think that's what i want to feel like that power you know like like, gut punching like yeah and i'm sure you can get it on your own you Mm -hmm. know by just like meditating or like doing some type of ritual yeah um but it is more powerful when there is a group group and they Mm -hmm. just embracing you in that and we're all here for this one powerful moment Mm -hmm. like you know, I've felt that in church before I have, mm-hmm. um, even if, yeah. you know, like, yeah, you have those moments, you know, and I definitely get like, of course, like, <coughs> it wouldn't be a thing like, <coughs> I'm trying to go every weekend because I know it's certain things that still bother me about it mm-hmm. um, that I don't agree with. But um, I don't know. I've just been feeling very like I want to give back lately. Like, I'm trying to have an event soon. Um, I'm working with somebody to get it started. But the main purpose of the event is to give back to the community. Let so. us know. Let's we'll be there. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to let y'all know. We're trying to come up with a date first. And then I'll be able to put the other stuff together. Um, but, yeah, I'm trying to do it. It's going to be a fun event. But the purpose of it is to give back. Yeah. So, I'm really into shit like that. Like, the main reason why I want to make money is so that I can, like, do a lot of charity work and Mm -hmm. do different things that I've been having planned for years that, like, I just want to help the community. I I feel like that's what I'm here for. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Let us know. (laughs) No, yeah, (laughs) because there's moments that we have wanted to give back. Like, this year we didn't do it, but the AIDS walk obviously I have this t-shirt from 2018 and I don't know oh, AIDS walk that's a good yeah, yeah that we dope. just felt compelled in 2018 it like, felt good going to it. it it was hot as hell outside but we didn't care we were there for a good cause we got up early in the morning because the event that's started dope. early mm-hmm. and they had um, it was set up at where was that I'm trying to think of what convention center that was. It was uptown, in the middle of uptown. Yeah. And um, we just, I think, I don't know if you know how we found out about it. I think I got emailed about it and I brought it up to you and you, we were like, this just feels like something I would. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember now. Um, Power remember? 98 was talking about oh, it. And then yeah. I told you about it and then you and went into detail up and I, about the tickets and yeah. shit. And then we bought our t-shirts and the t-shirts go to, you know, like research purposes and you know like just all this good things that they're doing for you know aids and hiv um, awareness and we just felt compelled to go and i didn't know how powerful the event was until we started to walk and we all assembled in the streets of charlotte up Mm. and, and we it was so many it was thousands of people i i could not fathom how it many was a lot of people do you it was pay a lot to do it it was like 25 bucks yeah for you the, really just pay for yeah. the shirt but they but all those but proceeds the money go goes towards to, right yeah. right right mm-hmm. and then when you and it's when thousands you, yeah. of people there doing it and it's like when you go in to check in um there's all these different tables and these people of we saw some trans people they had a you know organizations oh. and stuff and they're like this is what we do and you know, we had Novant Health and like all these different 
just different organizations informing us of what they do and how they give back and right. why they're there and they're like basically like your donation of buying this t-shirt and your ticket like it goes towards all the stuff that we're working towards like testing and i was like this wow. made so much sense and I, I don't know why we felt so compelled but we That's just did amazing mm-hmm. and we walked and it was the longest walk and we were all sweating but everybody was cheering people had like feather boas on people had like mm-hmm. beads on and people were like singing and, and screaming yeah. and it was beautiful because there was a lot of people that were survivors of oh, wow. having aids HIV. and hiv and and or people they had t-shirts on that had like loved ones that died from it and oh, this is their wow. like movement and i was like this is the That's most touching so thing amazing yeah so i'm like i love that oh, they have stuff like that this year yeah. I mean, yeah let's make like a little we gotta all write down yeah, girl um a bucket list for t- 2020 okay. <coughs> like it can be a short yeah. little list yeah or maybe a long one and then just See what you get Share done. ideas and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's we got 365 days to come up with something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's just a lot of stuff we can yeah. go do. Something Facts. positive. Yeah. Facts. I would love to. I always wanted to do like a um a 5K or something. Like when mm-hmm. I was really yeah. into like the gym and shit. Like Me too. That. I want to do. I still want to do that. Too, there was a marathon, I think, today. I don't know what it was for because I saw it on the news, but it was like not very detailed what they talked about. Mm-hmm. But I think there was some type of uh, marathon today. I'm sure it was for a cause. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think that's something everybody should take part in at least every yeah. now and then. Like the way you guys just described that, I never really thought of it thought of it that way like yeah, just girl. the different people coming together yeah it was I would really love cool to do something like oh we that. took an uber because we were like parking's gonna be crazy Hell so we yeah. took an uber yeah. and we got out it was still early we got some lunch we got something you know we were just like oh you ready to walk and of course at the fucking end of the damn thing there was these fucking Trump supporters across the street. I don't even know if they're Trump supporters. Uh, there were just people with the signs. No, they had like the Trump flags and shit too. There were some Trump ones and then there were ones that were like, you're going to hell. Like, yeah, yeah, like the Christian people. And we were like... They were, out, <laughs> they were both on one side and then it was like... It was another And the police were people. like, go away. Like, they were literally trying to escort them out because it was like, we're walking for a positive cause and you're over here Guys, being negative as fuck. these people are Yeah, hilarious. because not everybody that has AIDS is fucking gay. Like, like that's ridiculous. You can get it from, a, a, you know what I'm saying, from the opposite sex. That's it's, just how Facebook is. It's, it's mm-hmm. like those people so that just gotta Ignorant. just be like... <laughs> Why are you here? Like, yeah, no, for real, because it was hot as shit. Out it was there. so hot. It was the dead of summer. I guess they feel like that's their purpose. We were confused. We were like, so you took time out of your weekend to go in your little <laughs> cluster hate. fuck like, on the corner. Yeah, like you're on the corner, hot, sweating like a and motherfucker. And there's thousands of us like, like, get out of here, bro. We're all in a good, positive mood, but obviously there's some of us that are like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, fuck you. That, you know, most people were positive, but the young ones, we like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> like, you out here wasting your time with your corny ass. They were. I was like, y'all are doing the most. Who the fuck? Like, I so wouldn't you, even wake up early to be sweating to tell somebody else you ain't <laughs> shit. Like, get the fuck out of so here. So you you found out where the roadblocks were going to be. Right. And you stood yeah. where we were going to walk. and like, They had a megaphone. They had a megaphone and screaming. And we were like, that's so funny. Like some shit that you would see in the movies. They're like, you're going to hell. <laughs> Gay people this and this and that. I'm like, shut the fuck fuck it was up. so stupid because we're like okay so oh thousands of people are doing this positive thing and your old corny <laughs> ass out here on a saturday when you could be doing anything <laughs> anything right else it was just so stupid <coughs> we were like That's you look funny. real ignorant right, right now and these people have loved ones that have died from right. yeah so it was just like it, what made, it pissed me off it, I, I got mad I got mad yeah, when I, I seen that. We marched like, for a long time through Uptown. They blocked off so many streets. It was a long march. And I didn't realize how many people were there until I tried to Snapchat it. And then I turned the camera behind us. And I was like, <laughs> we ain't even at the end. We're in the middle of this fucking Do you remember, march. Do you remember that gay dude that almost had a fucking heat stroke? <laughs> I helped him out. Like, mm, I, I baby, think I gave him I'm my water bottle. I'm going to correct you right now. 
He wasn't just gay. He was. It was a trans woman. He was an older trans. Oh, she oh, was an okay. older trans woman. Okay. And she was just old head, and she was like, "Bitch, I'm about to pass <laughs> out." <laughs> she was so. And hey, she was like sweating her, was her makeup. Yeah. Like she looked like a you know the old yeah. trend, you know. I was like, oh, That's baby girl, and so she was like, funny. she had on like not heel heels, but she had wore some heels. She, was, she took her shoes. Yeah. I was she like, was why like, you wearing bitch. heels to a fucking march? She said, march, bitch. Bro. And everybody was like, you okay, sis? She was like, bitch, it's hot. I'm, then, I'm good, <laughs> but I'm hot. I'm talking about dripping sweat. And, <laughs> a, and and what looked like almost a damn prom dress. This motherfucker <laughs> was said, su- dropping sweat bombs like he. And I was like, yo, I was like, here, have my water. I was like, um. I was like, put the water on your wrist, like pour it on your wrist or whatever, so your body can cool down. I was like, if you pour it on your head, you're gonna go into shock. I was like, don't yeah. do that. And she was like, so, what the fuck is so goddamn? Hot? It was so hot that day. <laughs> that That's shit so was so funny. funny, bro. That shit was hilarious when I seen her. So goddamn, it's <laughs> hot out here. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was not having it. So in, her, in her damn nice, nice clothes. She got up with some nice clothes. Everybody wearing damn workout clothes, yeah. marching because we knew she it was hot. She's trying to be safe. She said, it's fucking that shit hot. was so this funny. Is, I, I love it though because it's go- and I hate that. Sometimes I wish I could go celebrate Pride because I love the LGBT community, LGBTQ community. Like I, I go up hard for them, and like me having friends that are part of the community, I'm like, why don't I ever celebrate Pride? Because I want to experience. I that. just recently went this year. Did that, you? that was my first time ever going, and mind you, I was a lesbian forever. Mm-hmm. I never How went was to it? Pride. Was it, was it pretty fun? It was like you exactly what y'all are yeah. describing. I mean, it was, no one was like marching, but people were coming together. Just stuff. coming together. As it a was community. different business is out there like it was it. so many businesses out there i was really fucking with that like just showing support i guess or like out there i love that i just shit. like the togetherness when i'm like Me humans too. coming together for something that means something mm-hmm. everybody was dressed how they wanted to be dressed it was cool i would I go to that, that shit like I, I think i would have a no ball. i know <laughs> yeah, <hell laughs> no. yeah i, I can would. see that no quiet as it's kept it's like not even quiet as it's, kept. it's just that when we went to Puerto Rico, when we got engaged or whatever, we were that motherfucker in there running around. Uh, he be he, oh, he be running that. I think that's what she looked like. I think they're she, dirt cheap. They're like thirty bucks. Right. So. I think she girl. would like that shit because mm, biscuit in there and running the mud. Ooh, I'm gonna have to goddamn face a fear and be picking that motherfucker up so she can play with it. <laughs> you can really pet not this that one bad. if you want. Huh? I said you you can pet this one if you want. Yeah, After we get out, it. yeah, he, uh, he's a really sweet damn, one. If anything, he's out. he's more scared. Well, he of us only than bit he her because she, I was like this in his face. Yeah, she was doing that <laughs> shit, and like, I was like, "Hey, <laughs> he was you like, wanted yeah. him to bite you." No, he just kept doing it and doing it, and he actually bit, and it drew blood. And I was like, "Oh, oh shit!" shit. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Because <laughs> he he, he licks me all the time. No, he literally lick. He loves you though. I think mm-hmm. you're his his daddy. To he, he like I know you human. <laughs> to me, he's like. Bitch. But I don't I don't give him my finger like that. I always let him like lick right there because he can't grip that. You know. Right. What is it? When it's your fingertip, you, you can grip a finger. But you too. also bonded with him since we got him. Like day one, yeah, you were true. like trying to bond with him. Aww. And I think now he just trusts you like a lot. Now you trying to bond with you like fuck you, bitch. I'm looking like bitch. <laughs> bitch, you wasn't with me shooting it. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking like little <laughs> motherfucker. Who you? Yeah. Right. No, he's cute. He's really cute. He's a sweet little dude. Damn, that made me want to get. I, I did want to get her a pet. Girl, pet him. He's so soft. I sold her bird. Yeah, he's like super soft. Her dad bought her a bird, but she wasn't Birds doing are so with it. fucking loud. Is it fucked up that I sold it? No, because no. we returned ours. <laughs> but he bought it though. He doesn't even know I sold it. But I'm like, you uh, just had that shit living with me. You can't just she buy a kid paying, a bird and just be like, she wasn't not consulting that shit. with the. That shit. We had I birds. That shit. Them birds lasted like three days, two days. Yeah, and we took them back because they were squawking, and I was like, I work <laughs> from home, and I was like, day. I can't. It was literally just I they can't. were just chirping their asses out. <laughs> and Jane's not a morning person, so at seven thirty a.m., y'all motherfuckers need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like because they saw the sun rise, and I guess they were like, yeah, bitch, because <laughs> you know birds do it in nature. Yeah. I was like, nah, y'all gotta go. That's and you know, like hilarious. we like to listen to loud ass music, so the music would startle. And them, Travolta like, has a thing with birds. He has to. He just wants them. to kill birds. Like, he wanted to kill them. 
He was like growling. No, he's good with the guinea pig. He'll, he he That's plays his baby with them. Yeah. I they think be he kissing thinks it's a each puppy. other and shit. Can you put them in like those balls? No, no, not not the guinea pigs because they don't. Their spines, they're not. It's too long. Yeah. And so if they curve up like that in a ball while they're running, it's it'll fuck they back up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, it, it's I can see all, that. Yeah, they too lanky. <laughs> they too fat. <laughs> <laughs> lanky and it'll fuck they damn back up. They, That's funny. Ooh. Let's wrap this up. It's been two damn hours we've been Has talking shit. Ed? Yeah. As usual. Talk it's been a shit. while. <laughs> How long? Two hours and what? Just flat out two hours. Oh, okay. That's good. That's not bad. I yeah. thought it was like two hours and 45 minutes or something. It feels like it's We been get longer. lost in the conversation because. But it's. Everything segues into another conversation. Mm-hmm. Always. Oh. You guys have been I beat. <laughs> <laughs> This has been Refried Beans And Collard Greens And Kiwi Kiwi We gotta do this again Bye Yeah, facts Alright <laughs>